Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Greenfield Finance Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Z. Bird Zidell. With me, as always, the boys are in the building. We got my main man, my co worker, the angriest dude I know, Angry John Rosado. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and next to him, we got, he got nine and a half toes, and today is his birthday. <laughs> Give it up for my main man, Dr. Schulz. Happy birthday, hey, Schulz. Happy birthday, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be back, man. You know, yeah. I couldn't miss on my birthday. I already blew it on my freaking anniversary. anniversary. That yeah. rose is, anniversary. That rose is ruining everything. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest text I got all day. You're like, Rose is becoming a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, I can't forget my co-host, my main man, Moneyline Welsh. What up, Moneyline? What's going on? Uh, what got, a, uh, oh, good, Zebra. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple things going on. Uh, at, as of by the time you guys hear this podcast tomorrow morning at 7, we have new merch coming out. A lot of requests for the I'd Rather Be Boofing stuff, so we mixed it in <laughs> there. And then some different color variations of the GFP, some hats. It's a very simple sale. Like It's just some stuff that you guys wanted. It's not going to be up for long, I think like a week or two at the most. So when you see it posted, grab it up now, because if you don't grab it now, you'll forget about it, and that's it. The, boofing, the I'd Rather Be Boofing shirts are going to go hot. So I would like definitely say get it now because they're not coming back. It's a one-time drop limited edition thing we're doing. That's on that. Exclusive. One of one. one Exclusive. Of, uh, real quick, uh, a friend of mine, he's in recovery. His his name's w- Wayne Margerum. Uh, had a tragic incident. Father passed away. There's a long story to it. I'm not going to get into it. They started to go find me. Uh, I'm going to be posting the, the GoFundMe under the Greenfield Finest podcast. If you're able to donate or help out, he's a recovering guy, a uh, really good person, helps out with a lot of people, and a um, terrible situation happened, but they are in need of some help. So it'll be posted on all of our all of our websites, all of our social media. You'll be able to find it. So that's all I got, Jack, for announcements. Shuley, what you do for your big 14-year uh, <laughs> anniversary? Well, I mean, everybody knows that that is the uh, Pine anniversary, so I made her a... Uh, Bird's house. No, 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 I mean we didn't. We didn't do much. I was actually. I was gonna take her to uh, Red Lobster. That was my. Cannot plan. believe you didn't. Yeah. No, What's actually, I, I ain't gonna lie, dude. Rosa surprised me. She hooked it up, man. She was out there grilling, dude. She fucking made me steaks and uh, nice. lobster tails on the grill. Oh, really? Sure. Yeah, she go. tore it up in some risotto. Risotto. Oh, which I didn't realize how much I liked. You know, I, I like had a nice risotto, while. too. Yeah. yeah it's, it's risotto. Good. Did bad. I say risotto? You did. Yeah. 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 And I then you I looked at Joe with right. his eyes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I like risotto. I like a couple of Welsh's. <laughs> it licked his lips. Yeah. I like but a that's one risotto. of those things like you like. I'll never order it, but like somebody makes it. Like, yeah, so I good. forgot how good this is. I'm not yeah. even 100% sure what it is. It's like, it's a, like rice. Like little balls. But it's like yeah. a cheese like little pasta ball. Yeah. Rice. Right. Or there's like something to it. I don't I don't want to say it's cheese. I don't have a clue how to make risotto. No, I don't either. It is delicious. There's though. cheese in it. It has to be has something. To be, yeah. Something holds it, you know, together. It's good, though. It's good. So it was a nice time. It sounds delicious. Before we really get into this, I, uh, I've i been doing a lot of blue collar work lately. <laughs> And dude, my nails are dirty. They're filthy. What do you What do you guys do about your you dirty nails? You gotta get nails? a brush, dude. Even like, then, mm. it's it's not it's not hundred percent. You gotta cut. I mean, I, I mean I've been cutting them as much as I can, but like these yeah. are short and they're yeah, dirty. You know, do you know what I do? I clean. I cut mine on Friday because if they're real short, dude, I can't dig under there and get it clean. Right. That's kind of where if I'm. If I at. leave them a little bit long, I can get in there, use a fingernail, and clean them in the shower. And then Friday comes and I trim them. Yeah, but then man, this is crazy. Get yourself some gloves. The Gojo works. To, yeah, but if you're doing nails. fucked up shit, the gloves you, like the just hold soap, the dirt on your if hand. If you get like some the Dawn, like Ooh, Dawn soap, soap, yeah, that shit that will Cleans get like ducks. grease. That's how they yeah. clean the ducks. Yeah. <laughs> It'll get the grease yeah. off of there, but like the people in East Palestine, yeah, you know, some <laughs> people you're a little blue collar ethic. Leave them dirty, Jack. You don't need a manicure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, leave one dirty. See, I got one dirty fingernail. They don't look crazy. <laughs> like they don't look bad, dirty. I look kind of like a man. Now, but when, they're little, callous? when they're a little, dude, I'm, I'm calloused up from aerobics. Okay, but uh, <laughs> uh, but when they're a, lo- a little longer and they look dirty, now that's an issue. You look trashy. You look yeah. trashy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, me and Zebra had a big adventure this past weekend. We went up to D.C. for my cousin Paul's uh, XFL playoff game. Me, Zebra, and my uncle drove up and drove back. 
Uh, it was a good time. We go up there, Zebar posts a picture. He just he's just snapping pics. Doesn't really tell me he's gonna post anything. <laughs> I have a white monster in the pic, <laughs> and he posted, and everybody's giving me shit about the white monster. I'm like, dude, you know, I, I had to drive back and forth from DC, but uh, you know, I, I need a white monster. Give me a little break here. I th- I felt like, you, like got, you started the day up with I, it. I thought I think no you, no no you no. I was for the ride back. I think uh, you got a lot of support. Because like I see we all because uh, you don't have Facebook but people were posting pictures white monster gang the gang like, oh really our regulars were posting like like Wheezy and you know them dudes they were posting white monster gang nice so yeah they were with you I feel like Instagram I was getting a little bit of heat Instagram's a little upper echelon yeah we're yeah. more blue collar that's where we're, <laughs> we're gonna find you got fish. dirt under your nails yeah, yeah. yeah. you're, you're working, home you do you you're working physical labor you need to back on Facebook yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should come back on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> just start putting a bunch of like racist shit up. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell really you, lean into it, you know? Dude, uh, I'll tell you what, they uh that game was completely insane. I mean, like I was like Jack had been there before, so like I didn't but Jack even said he was like it was way rowdier this time. What are what, 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 what stadium? Playoffs? It's uh, D- DC United's soccer, oh, soccer stadium. stadium. It's a legit. St- it's nice. It looked big. It's nice. There was. I don't know. What do you? There had to be ten thousand people there. I bet. I- I'd say anywhere between like t- <laughs> if I had guessed ten and twelve thousand. Dude, I'm like, all right, they're going to DC. I go to put on the park game. They're like weather delay. Then I went and like looked at the radar on my phone. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, it rained from the time we left Greenfield to the time we got to DC, and then we got there and we didn't deal with much rain at all. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah sort of. That still sucks to driving. <laughs> yeah, no, the- it's brutal to driving. <laughs> I took the under, thinking it was going to rain all game. But anyway, that was another story. But they, th- they pe- apparently at one game, they were giving people lemons coming in. I don't know why they did this. I wasn't at that game. Jack was there. So now it's like a tradition that people bring lemons in and literally just throw them at players. It's a lemon, Dur- it's a lemon war. During the game. I mean, the game's going on. They're firing lemons off the quarterback. Did they, give, they didn't have them this game? <laughs> No, they had some. It wasn't as many, but this game was way rowdier. They had the biggest cup snake I ever seen before in my life. <laughs> it went all the way up. They but, interviewed the guy. And th- did they? Yeah. And they started coming back down. I never <laughs> seen it come to start coming back down. Dude, they interviewed the dude who had the bottom of it. They were like, "What?" Ha- they were ch- dude. A lot of dumb interviews during the game. Yeah. Dude, there was. Is there? There's a lot of dumb shit going on at yeah. the game. <laughs> yeah, there is. I mean, I watched every like, XFL game this like year. The yeah. one dude was like, ah, "I gotta." Get, the one dude was like, "I gotta get back to coaching." Yeah, <laughs> like they like didn't. Then the dude was like, "What do you do if somebody doesn't drink the beer? Is there like a beer penalty?" And the dude's like, "So the cu- you just drink the beer, <laughs> the, you know?" Like the cup snake was on the the other side of the stadium. It was yeah. literally directly across from us. There was a kid on our side of the stadium collecting cups to take back over to the other side of the stadium yeah. to add to the cup snake. That they were in cahoots. So people like, get had- fucked up at XFL games, like yeah, real, like real fucked up. Yeah. The prices are like. Kind of reasonable too for like being in a stadium. How much is a beer? Uh, I think a beer was like eight bucks, nachos seven bucks, shit like that. Yeah, so it wasn't. Yeah. It's not. And it's it's the big boys. It's the twenty twos. But they pour it in a cup. No, there was youngsters had the cans. Yeah, you uh, get the cans. Or oh, you, you can get you a can. Get the cups. There, a lot of people do. They, they but they sell mixed drinks too. So they sell the uh, the little shooters, the nips, and they give you a mixed drink. You pour the nip in the the whatever the mixer. You pound that. And then that's a cup as well. So there's a lot of ways to get cups. Uh, but yeah, they got a fuck ton. And it was a, it was a nice looking cup snake. There was about some. There was we had a couple 15 year olds drinking in front, front of us for <laughs> sure. Like no older than 15, which is always good to see. Yeah. Reminded me of yeah. us. Like, yeah. It definitely reminded me of us. They got on the jumbotron. They got real excited about it. Like so that was cool. The one dude kind of looked like Andy Tenney had his shirt off and he, he was flexing for literally a half a quarter trying to get on the flex <laughs> cam. He was like, yeah. they have a flex cam. They have a flex cam. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, not too many babes at the old XFL. <laughs> what? No, nah, nah, believe it or not. <laughs> there was not one one coup sighting in a whole <laughs> no, fucking no. facility. There's no, we didn't tap each other one time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, did you see that? Like, yeah. what? Like, the lemon get hit off the dude's head. There was a couple. Did you see that snake? That yeah. cup snake? Mm-hmm. There was a couple that had a sign, like, we're here on our honeymoon, so that's awesome. Uh, yeah. XFL playoff game, honeymoon. And, and and then, like, people, but, like, the best was the dude, in fr- there was a guy in front of us that was just completely out of control. I think he was stealing people's beers. I'm pretty sure he was. And, like, he would migrate from group to group and steal their beers. But he took his shirt off, had a wife beater on. It was way too cold for that. He's talking shit to Seattle people that are, like, right there. 
Like, I guess, like, Seattle had, like, a player there that had, like, a bunch of family. Well, they, like, start going back at it. I thought they were going to whoop this dude's ass. We were kind of hoping he would. I'm like, Jack, it's about to go down. And somehow it all, like, simmered down. But there's security there, and they're constantly pointing, but no action happens. Like, they pretend, like, we're going up there, and they, like, make a fake radio call. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The it doesn't even a, have batteries in it. No. <laughs> like, we got guys acting up in, at 115. Pretend like we're doing something. Okay, back to your post. Yeah, and like, I, no I was, fucking way I'm going up there yeah, alone. Get yeah. the guys ready. I make minimum there, wage. There's 20 of those dudes. They look a little suspicious. They, they're, they're, one kid got his shirt off, and they're completely nuts, and they're screaming, fuck Seattle. They scream, <laughs> fuck Seattle. Dude, like, literally, like, fuck Seattle. Half like, the game. A really good fuck Seattle chant. I'm like, man, there's like there's bad blood here. Yeah. And, like, they, that probably is the Good old-fashioned rivalry. That's the two best teams in the XFL. D.C. United's, like, loaded. Seattle, it was 9-9 nine, nine at halftime, and... And they just got their ass kicked the second half. But like they shot themselves in the foot a million times. But it was uh, Danucci looked all right. He, he's yeah. yeah. I mean, he they threw the ball every play. They threw the ball every threw, play. The receivers dropped a few balls, but and like dude, they they just they signed that Lindsay that used to be on the Broncos yeah. too. They didn't That's give great. him the ball. Who once. Philip Lindsay? Yeah. yeah. That's what? all we said. They were like they they were like he uh, June Jones literally hasn't. Uh, called a run play yet. Right before half, they ran it a couple times, but the, like we were the like, clock. Uh, yeah. It was. That's crazy. I've never seen that. But, yeah, it was uh, it was a good time. I'm an XFL fan now. I think I, if it was – I would definitely go back to a game. It would be fun to go to a lot of people. You know, I mean, I don't drink, but it would be fun to go watch my friends drink and how they would interact with the crowd. Did you get anything to eat there? Not at the game. Oh, okay. You didn't I, get any concessions? I, no, I, we ate before we ate a, uh, okay. some, a, a little restaurant. I got, like, a fire sandwich I wouldn't eat for 20 years, and I finally found a place that had a beef pit sandwich. Yeah, Baltimore pit beef sandwich. They talked about it on The Wire the one time. I was like, oh, Was it man. good? Dude, it was phenomenal. It was a small sandwich. It was that quick. It was good service. We were bang. I thought parking was super expensive for an XFL game. I was like. What's super expensive? $70. 75 bucks. What? I gave him a 60. Was, Here's 60. Keep, we'll keep <laughs> Make him, it work. We'll keep it moving. I had cash. I didn't know what to do. I probably could have given him a 20 looking back on it. But he. Uh, he stuffed it right in his pocket, which is fine. Saved me 15 Oh, yeah, bucks. I don't give a fuck. 15, <laughs> 15, 15 feet up from that, it was $90. I'm like, what the heck? But there was – the Buccos are in town, too, and they're in number, they're first place. So, right. You know, right. that might have had something to do Battling with Battling bucks. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but that was a good time. It's always – you know, it's me, z and my uncle. It's fine. It's hard to find something to listen to where everybody can get on the same page. Musically you know? and the ride down? I go podcast. I did Joe Rogan, Ric Flair on the way down. That was fine. On the way back, I ran into a little bit of issue. Joe Rogan had some weird guest on. Which guest? I would. Uh, it was some scientist talking about like ancient, s- a- yeah, Rome. It, it wasn't South me- America. It wasn't meshing well with the vibe. He was the southern guy. So that yeah, right, right, yeah, it wasn't meshing well at right, all. Right. So I put on Shane Gillis's podcast, not really thinking that was a big mistake. I think I had that on for like seven minutes. They were talking about like. <laughs> jerking off all the shit like we talk t- about yeah. pretty much <laughs> right. and i was like well i can't do that then i just like all right, i found i went to part of my take that was easy enough and that that got us home but yeah it's always i can't i don't want to do jams the whole way home i need like if i'm doing all the driving i yeah, got i need, a, I need a, a podcast talk show, yeah that yeah. that can kill like a good two hours yeah it keeps you engaged yeah because jack's uncle was like uh what do you guys think can we move on <laughs> you know yeah, what I, mean? so I was like what do you want to listen to it and they no suggestions. Right. So it's like, oh, I'm me and I'm driving. I'm trying to get out of D.C. You did you make know. great time. Whew, I was going to bring it up. Well, I was about to bring it up, but you didn't. Man, do I move, huh? Coming home. <laughs> I'm get, getting here. What, you, that wasn't my fault. I was out of your control, but getting home, I was blown away. We literally left the stadium, and I was back in Greenfield before 10 o'clock at night. We left the stadium at 6 o'clock, a little after with the traffic and the redirection. I was very impressed. I was like, just got on that beltway and just. Dude, I'll keep it moving. That yeah. ways, that ways app is unbelievable. They told us there was animals coming up, and we looked, and there was fucking deer. Yeah, How'd they know that? That was yeah. wild. I never seen that one. They were like, they were like li- live animals on the side, it, or like approaching, and we look up, and there was like three deer behind this fence. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, they got, that's, that's kind of creepy. They got actually. these deer <laughs> chipped up. Yeah, yeah like, they what's happening? Here? Where's the satellite? Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, ways, ways, man. Best free app around for sure. Uh, Steelers draft, man. What do you guys think? 
Loved it. I mean, yeah, I mean, everybody's giving him like A plus fucking grades on I, it. It's I old think, Pat McAfee gave him an A. Yeah, I think I think the coolest thing I've heard so far is them starting to call Omar Khan the Khan artist. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just like, leasing really people. Yeah, I mean, dude, like Tomlin loved it. You know, he's like Khan man, Khan artist. Man. I'm like, dude, it was. He did a great job. I mean, definitely in my mind as a Steelers fan, filled a lot of needs. Like, you wanted to get Joe after seeing a, a lot of Joey Porter Jr. like film, because I was like watching on it, I was like, man, he's a great, he's a great well, player. Well, especially at 32. They, 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 yeah. they picked the uh, O lineman thinking like he could be gone. You had they, to grab him there. You had, yeah. to, you needed the O lineman. You know, I like, I'm like, yeah, the Gursky, whatever. Like, they got a top three in the draft lineman. That's yeah. good. And then, like, the 32 pick, that's still like a first round. It that, is. Yeah. That, that was the robbery. It would have been a Clay first full pick. The robbery. Beautiful. The Bears yeah. bounced back though because they got a bunch of picks. Like they made some moves. Yeah, but yeah, that was but Clay that was pull for Clay for pull for, that. Yeah, and it, I like how they they traded the fucking later round to get like more, you know, capital in the draft, and they yep. got what like an extra three picks or something. Dude, yeah. that, that that's tight end we got from Georgia. So that's what I'm most excited about. Six seven. He's an animal. Dude, and they were saying that the He's reason a, his offensive numbers aren't so good because they had so many other fucking weapons. Yeah, they got that, that dude, he was so overlooked. They got know? that dude he, Bowers that's been. been Playing college football since like we've been in high school, and he, somehow he still has another year. It's insane. <laughs> is he, another, is he yeah, the other tight end? He, he's yeah, nineteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's nuts. I, I'm, I, why wouldn't he go in the draft? I, he loves college. <laughs> right, he's Van Wilder. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, that dude Washington's his name, I think. Darnell. Darnell Washington. Darnell Washington. Yeah, he rocks zero. I like that. They said Joey Porter Jr. is rocking 24 to a salute to Ike Taylor. Oh, uh, yeah, that's like cool. That. Ike squared. Oh, that's that's my Uncle dude. Ike. And that's, her, that's the uh, cornerback's coach, isn't it? No. The Steelers? No, no, no. He has something to do with the Steelers. Yeah, think. he used to play for them. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, I think I'm he co- did coach for a minute. He might be he like a minimal scout job. All right, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Joey Porter Jr., I mean, he's 6'2". Six, six Big kid. But, yeah, like, he's not like a short cornerback, dude. He's, like, surprised he didn't go in the first round. Yeah, no, he's a and dog. That, I, the D-lineman I don't know much about, but. No. But they said, you know. I mean, dude, we're getting all these SEC dudes. We're and making got- off-season deals. We're not, dude, you can't talk shit on Kevin Colbert because, like, you know, there was success. Yeah. But, like, we're not used to this. The right. Way, the way, like, usually, like, dude, they need an O lineman. They're like, all right, dude, we're going to take a wide receiver. Right, right, dude. Omar's moving way different. And he's than making Colbert. so many different little behind the scenes. What? We just picked up that dude, Muse or whatever, from, uh, I don't know, he's like a special teamer, but he's an inside linebacker. He's been in the league for three years. He's like a third round pick. And it, it, yeah. he got, like, waived, and we picked him up off dude, of that. Dude, they, they got themselves a, a new uh, white linebacker. Yeah, you got to keep one around. Yeah. <laughs> right. You got to token have, white line by token, yeah, yeah, from you, Wisconsin. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, I play think Andy's he, a brother of uh, the uh, yeah, lineman. The yeah. lineman we just signed. We, yeah. I mean, we love a brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah brothers. You got a yeah. brother. Most you got a brother. cousin. Good for the locker room. Yeah, most brother. Uh, got to be the most brother combinations in the NFL. Steelers. No doubt. No doubt. But yeah, it's, it's, I'm pretty pumped. That was uh They got another uh, QB draft. or cornerback late round. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. Honestly, they this good. is probably this is probably the best I felt about it. You, I was you just, know how I felt about last year's draft. I was yeah. just gonna say I was actually excited, like watching the draft. Like I was sitting there watching the fucking draft for hours. They, yeah, they, I watched a lot of it too. Yeah, they they went on. I mean, if you hear from a lot of analysts and things like that, like not say how much it means, but you didn't hear a lot of like they screwed up like about any team. You didn't hear any team like they totally screwed up their whole entire The only draft. one was uh was it Mel uh Kuiper said about the D lineman. He's like, I'm not really sure what everybody else sees, but everybody else is like, dude, he could have been gone a long time ago. Kuiper's fucking older than Howie. He doesn't know he what's is. going Kuiper's on. All made up. He's no he's that's the only yeah. negative thing I've heard like Total at all. I mean, about any team though, like they were saying like like the t- like Usually the- somebody blows it like so bad. Dude, it's who crazy. blew the Atlanta Falcons Getting that Bijan Robinson, yeah, like there was dude. a couple picks. They were like, they got a thousand yard rusher. Eh. But they were talking shit on Detroit, Detroit at first. So they took that Jack Campbell, but then like they got like a bunch of dudes. So they end up having a major draft yeah. too. Dude, that I think dude, the Texans had a good fucking yeah. draft the as Texans, well. They, the Texans made some major moves, but dude, I think the Eagles. Yeah, they're defense. Dude, <laughs> they're defense. They it's every- already ruthless. They just grab everybody from Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's not played. a bad idea. We grab a lot of Georgia boys now right. too. But them two dudes on the D line, and they got the edge, dude. I'm just like, jeez. Yep, they're uh, they're they're gonna be scary, for sure. Did you see Green Bay pick that Lucas Van Ness? Uh, his dad. Everybody, there's always one weird clip for the, <laughs> the draft, and like this was the weirdest by far. 
everybody's like jumping up, hugging each other. The dad and the girlfriend, the dad and his son's girlfriend kind of like lock eyes like for a second. And then they like go at each other, give each other a hug. The hug was normal. She turns around. He gives her the, he gives her the triple ass smack. Like boom, boom, boom. He's smashing. Oh, I can't boom, believe boom, you didn't see it, T-Bird. I and, seen the clip. Okay. Yeah, I, didn't see I, I didn't see it live. And it was yeah. just like, it wasn't like. It was, it, he's in there, It was dude. like this. Like there, yeah. There was it was a, tender. It, yeah. It wasn't the, it was. He, a, got a, he got a good feeling. He, he got a cupping. Was that better than, than the drunk friend who like, they couldn't get off of him? Was that, I think his little brother or something? I don't know who it was, but it was definitely like. You got to get ripped I, off. It was just yeah, like a drunk ripped, boy. They like, yeah, ripped we him made right it. off. Yeah, yeah. Ripped him right yeah. off. Yeah. Him. Get him out of here. Yeah. Quit stealing the moment, kid. Yeah. yeah. Who's this shit? Yeah, the drunkest dude in the room. <laughs> He's like, I never have to pay for drugs again. <laughs> See, like, I kind of like this ass grab because it was so out in the open and so blatant. He wasn't even trying to hide it. Like that one, the national championship, whatever oh, it was, gosh. when the dad did like the swipe up the girlfriend's like ass Backhand. in the back. Like that was really creepy. He hit it in plain sight. Yeah, this one. that's I kind of like that move. He's like, yeah, yeah that just happened. He's, like, He's yeah. like, that's how athletes, you know. Yeah, good game, babe. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas really likes you. We'll see you out there. He's like, once Luke, Lucas blows you off when he's in the NFL, don't remember. Yeah, you always come back to Pops' yeah, house. Yeah, you had the young calves. Remember <laughs> the old bull. Now time to get the old bull because I still got a little dog in me. <laughs> Deuce Vaughn's dad is a scout for the Cowboys, and uh, he got to call his son to let his son know that the Cowboys were going to be uh, be picking him. He's a running back from Kansas State. Did you guys see that clip? Yeah. yeah. That'll get your heartstrings going yeah. there. If that don't make you yeah. wish you had a dad. I, I weld up. <laughs> <laughs> I weld up a little bit watching that one for sure because he called him to like, you know, suit. he couldn't be there. You know, kids obviously having a draft party. There's a, there was a video like him calling him, telling him to relax. Everybody has a plan, blah, blah, blah. And then like you see Jerry and Greenfield Mike talking. And like Jerry's like, dude, like, what do you think? And Mike's like, dude, are you like asking me to pick him? I'm, I'm, I'm super high on this kid. And he's like, all right, well, let's pick him. And they, they picked him, and the dad got to make the call. I was like, oh boy, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. And that, it was so cool how like Mike got on the phone to talk to him, but then so did Jerry. And Jerry was like, you earned this. Yeah, like, he was, yeah, they like, weren't, they weren't, yeah, they yeah. weren't picking him just to pick him. It wasn't him. nepotism. They were like, yeah. Yeah. you, were, and he's, he's a beast. It'd probably been easier for the kid to go to another team, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, now you get to hear like, oh, his dad wasn't there; he wouldn't got picked. Where, everybody know what round it was? It was in the two. It was like the second or third. It was like two hundred. Yeah, Jerry was still in the building, so like it had to be up right, there a little right. bit. I don't think Jerry leaves the building on draft day. He likes. I don't know if Jerry leaves that building at all. I, I don't think so. That's that. Jerry Jerry's Land. world. I think, I think yeah. Jerry, Jerry world. Yeah, Jerry stays there. He gets in his like hyperbolic chamber or whatever. Fucking fuels up for twelve hours. Gets back out there <laughs> yeah. and plugs yeah. himself in. <laughs> Have you ever seen Jerry Jones not in a suit? Never. No. No, he always at least a caller. He's a never, businessman. Never seen him in a t-shirt. Dude, if you're a fucking billion, if I was a billionaire, I would always have a suit on. Really? I'd go to sleep in a fucking no, suit. Me. If I'd I was still a billionaire, I'd be in the same shit I wear every day. No, no, sir. I'd have like nicer sweats. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it'd be all Lulu. Maybe some Lulu. It'd be all, I'd be Lulu God, to death. Yeah, then God knows I can't afford them now. Maybe yeah. not the Costco sweatpants, but I'd go to like TJ Maxx. <laughs> I got, I got a decent amount of Lulu, but like it's my. That's what I asked for his presents. Like, you know, cause I can't spend. <laughs> you, you buy. Yeah. You can't. I can't pull the trigger. One hundred forty dollar yeah. hoodie, but they're fantastic hoodies. So I'm like, <laughs> like, what do you want? Like, just give me the expensive ass hoodie. What's a what? What's a Lululemon pair of sweatpants run you? About a buck thirty, I bet. A pair of joggers. Is it and is it? Are they like the joggers? The joggers are no big deal. Yeah, the joggers are, are what they are. The hoodies and like the hoodies are really that's that's like a hundred forty dollar hoodie. For, yeah, they're what, sweet hoodies, man. Is it, is it what, like what? waterproof or anything like that? Nah, it's not waterproof. It's a hoodie. <laughs> it's just I, really soft. It's a hoodie. I wear them all the time. You guys see me, and I'm like they're just they're not. Yeah, it's it's unbelievably soft, and it fits well. It grabs your arms. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, so it makes you look like you've been hitting weights. Yeah, well, I hit weights, buddy. I hear that. I hit weights. Uh, Ab. <laughs> Out of his mind. I love this. this a, is a, a B just like wanted to be, it'd be like uh, a so A B post the pick the last day of the draft or like the day after the draft of him photoshopped in a Ravens uniform. Hashtag Ravens flock. Antonio Brown is not on the Ravens. No, <laughs> me and no. T were talking. Trying to Willie Mays haze it. I kind of like it. I like. <laughs> yeah, the I love it. That's movie. a perfect comparison because that's exactly what he did. Yeah. <laughs> just show up to camp, dude. Yeah. I just hope he shows up. Yeah, it's just like you they know, took his cot outside. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe like o, uh, like uh, uh, OBJ and like fucking Lamar are sitting there and like, eh, well, 
<laughs> he just starts. He like yeah. jumps in the seven on seven, just starts running routes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they smuggle him in. Yeah, right. I mean, he probably will probably dust bare everybody. Feet. I'll, tell you, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. Him as the owner is this AFL team. The Albany Empire isn't going too well. They haven't paid anybody <laughs> since April twenty first, and, and everybody's quitting. Did you Did you hear him bitching about it? He was like, "Man, I, I don't get it. All these players, they're just out for themselves." So, <laughs> like, you're the epitome of that, bro. What are you talking about? So Who, now he was did, like did, mad at all the did fucking somebody players. Somebody just like give this guy a team. Like what yeah, happened? What happened here? Publicity. I think he got 100%. to buy in for like a small percentage on a team that was like well, that, going was a, bankrupt. Right. It's all for the like for his antics. No, I, yeah, you know what I mean? I get it. They I weren't mean, like, hey, you're a really good. You have a good mind. But I wonder what he even bought like financially. Like, what was his buy in price? Was it like? Um, like a hundred thousand. I don't think like, AB got a hundred thousand uh, uh, to be spread around. Think? No, I don't. No, I don't. I do not. I don't know, man. Maybe that like, shit on ain't blowing up. I think. I think if we looked at AB's checking account right now, we're probably looking at about sixty-seven hundred, eight thousand dollars. <laughs> But it's got to come crashing down. You're right. It's cra- what do you mean? It's crashed. <laughs> I know. Like, but like, he's, like, he's fucking not paying. Like, it's, dude, well, he's it's, on the Ravens. I don't want, I don't want, yeah, right. The dude's hashtagging Ravens flock. He's not on the Ravens. He's going to come on the podcast yeah. next week and defend yeah. himself. Yeah. Yeah. It's 75 bucks. <laughs> you know I mean? you he said ever, he got eight grand. We'll buy you dinner at the rear end. end. Yeah. He'll be like, and then and it beat the check. Yeah. yeah. He'll, all like, fast. He'll be like, those guys are all about themselves. I don't need them. <laughs> If you're, I, dude. if you're wrecking chicks in Gibsonia, you got about 6,700. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sna- hashtag Gibsonia. Yeah. Uh, so we might have a weird opportunity this weekend, or Zebert has a weird opportunity this weekend. Old Uncle Will hit us up, and he's just telling us to be ready on Saturday. Drewski's in town. You guys know who Drewski is? Yeah, the comedian. Drewski's a comedian, a YouTube influencer, very, very popular to say the least he has a live show at heinz hall will didn't give us he gave us zero <laughs> details so far he just told us to be ready on th- saturday because like there's a chance that like drewski calls ebert up on stage we don't have tick like i don't know what's going on i gotta i gotta touch base we don't with have tickets yet we gotta touch i don't know if we have to buy them i gotta touch base with will tomorrow he said just be there hey, we be ready so i don't know what the fuck that means but, taylor what, gang what time, yeah. what time of night did this come through now a, a reasonable time. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, a, a, <laughs> a very reasonable time. Okay. Yeah. You've talked to him about like, multiple mo- times. Yeah. But like multiple times with like in very well fashion, zero details. <laughs> 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 so I mean, we'll see. It's gonna be like, uh, openings and opening. Yeah. No, it'll be great if we get old Z Bird up here in Drewski. Even if we just get like a clip out of it, that'll be so huge. Yeah, that would be something. That but well, something. if you're listening, we will love a little little details. See what the fuck we're getting yeah. into. <laughs> Me and Jack will be standing outside like this with yeah. a picture of like, us. Yeah, it's gonna be us in front of Heinz Hall, like not be able to get in. Like, hey, we're we're here we're, uh, with the, with the Drewski, and they're gonna be like, dude, what is good? What is going on? Well, you got a ticket? Like, like, get the fuck out of here. Greenville's finest podcast. Like, dude, no one knows what it is, losers. <laughs> That's like uh, like A B. Like we're like, yeah, dude, we're signing, yeah, right. with, we're signing with Drewski. Dr- Drewski flock. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. Get at me, dog. Suck my dick. So I figured, like, at least we had to, like, bring it up on here just to get something out of it. Nothing, if nothing comes nothing out of it. pans out. Yeah. Uh, all right, Larry, let's do some voicemails. Hey, guys. Joey Welsh here, oh, a.k.a. Raining Corn Dick of the Week. <laughs> if, if I'm not too late with this. Um... First off, I'm just not going to apologize. You know what I mean? I just think you guys are immature for the most part, and uh, you don't really value your home. You're not going to put this above this landscaping as a top priority. I can't schedule when the mulch man comes. Can't delay that shit two weeks, three weeks. It's going to look like hell when the pool opens. It needs to get done. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Go see drag if you had a great season. Love you, Paul. Everybody's proud of you, but it is what it is. I was the only one that went to Texas to see you. Don't ever rem- don't forget that. And I love, I just love how I'm getting shit from two landscapers on the podcast about ball jam. I mean, like somebody saying, like, "Hey, do you want to hang out this week?" I'm like, "No, I'm just gonna go be a hero, probably say some lies." Like, who am I to tell somebody not to do that? You think I would get some fucking support from you guys? They go, "Yeah, just call Rosados and Sons to do your mulch." You know, you know what you don't hear too much after Rosados and Sons? A promo code. Sure, that shit ain't shit. <laughs> I'm not spending 10 overtime shifts to cover my fucking mulching bill. I know that. Whatever. I'll do it again. 
See you later. <laughs> oh man, dude, Joe take Joe gets, takes it personal when we go at him on <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, I gave you a deal, Joe. I'm just saying, dude. You want to ruin your Sunday? It's fine. He I, he don't have much like room to stand on right now. He went on a rival podcast, and also now he's promoting the rival podcast on his Instagram. Really? I said, yeah, he sure did. He sure did. Huh. Well, then it, I guess his crown is safe as corn dick of the week. Yeah, <laughs> he, is. He, bang, he just keeps digging a hole, yeah. digging a we hole in that put a mulch. Picture of him right here with the corn yeah. dick of the week. Yeah, we should. With a giant ear of ear corn, corn. <laughs> shaped oh, like a cock. This this summer when he's when he's going to town on some uh, some corn on the cob, I'll snap a pick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No man safe. God knows we're not going to be invited. To he had a pool big, party. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, he had a big pile of mulch. I'm glad he didn't call me to help. <laughs> yeah, mulch. He said he got, nice. a, he got a shiny new wheelbarrow. It was a shiny. It didn't look like it was used too much, did it? <laughs> he said he just ordered it. Oh, he just got it. He just got it. Yeah, you made the mistake. You called it a wheelbarrow on uh, Twitter. I know, I, you know. Did you attack him for it? I just, I just corrected him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was. Saying I literally find that out last year. So anytime I see anybody, oh, you have to. Yeah, like, eh, well, to. You're, you don't. You're an idiot. That's how I learned. <laughs> yeah. That's how I learned the hard way. Wheelbarrow. Barrow. Yeah, you got to say it with an English accent. Uh, so I'm calling to clear up a little bit of uh, the Water Boy story <laughs> from last week. He has some of the details wrong and left a little bit of the story out. Uh, the girl was between the ages of like 11 and 16 oh. and, and i was at said party and i had a girl with me and her name was kathy and her kids were there and and a the water daughter never said fuck i know that for sure but uh anyway i after said party had left with her and asked her what that was and her interpretation was that it was a maxi pad that had absorbed too much moisture and exploded. So if that clears anything yeah, up, that, that's I'm not as gross as the other it. one. Thanks, Waterboy. Oh, well, that, uh, oh, that was the pool thing where yeah. that was Waterboy's boy, I think. Yeah. So yeah, that was the pool call last year with the with the disgusting maxi pad, I guess that like leaked. Uh, he made it a little weirder though, because like. Where's, he said at Ainge Ridge, 11 to 16. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. It's, that's uh, yeah. Next. My, my watch. <laughs> hey, guys, water boy. I guess my boy Beavis cleared up everything. He said he called and shit and fuck him. I'm glad he listened. Though. But anyways, I want to know if you guys ever did the roller coaster test. I've been working the same place for almost 20 years. I've changed sizes. So I throw one on. And, you know, you put your arms up on the roller coaster. If my gut's showing, <laughs> that ain't a new one. Just wanted to know. But uh, also, I got to tell you a story. Jar of devil's lettuce. And uh, one night I hit it somewhere when I was all drunk and high and couldn't find it. My wife's like, I know one of the neighborhood kids took it. And they're all good kids, you know. They're not like. From <laughs> but anyways, so she found it, my daughter, who's 13, and asked mommy, what's this? And luckily my wife is good on her feet and said, oh, your dad picked those Italian herbs. They're probably old now and they won't work. Anyways, I think we avoided something. Maybe we didn't. What would Greenfield do? Later. That's a good cover up, Bear. That's a good cover up. I, I'm 100 percent confused. What the hell is he talking about? The, with what? The beginning of that. With the sh put his shirt up. Oh, like with you the roller put coaster. Your you put your shirt up if your belly shirt shows you need a, a bigger shirt. That's uh, all. It, yeah. Are we talking shirt sizes? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, no I honestly idea. couldn't tell you, John. I was a little lost on that one too. <laughs> so, uh, basically, he doesn't throw out his shirts for work, so he has like sizes from. Oh, I got you. So he pulls out of the closet. It on. Uh, that's a, yeah, that that's, that's a sense. good idea. I get it. Thanks, Eagle Tits, for straightening yeah. us out there, Eagle bud. Eagle Tits is the man. Yeah, I actually do that a lot, too, because aerobics, we got to put our hands over our head all the time. And, I mean, you know, if I show a little midriff, I'm yeah. like, all right, <laughs> this, is, this is a no-go. Not yet. You know what I mean? Once you get a little bit tighter, then you're, then you're chiseled, gonna you want to show that midriff. Yeah, yeah. Right, listen, boys, I've been doing it for a year and a half. I'm not chiseled yet. That's why I pull. My I just got a cookie issue, man. I, I, I got a I got a weed. I got a cookie problem. I got a, I got a weed issue and I got a cookie problem. They go hand they in go hand. They go hand in hand. Yeah. And you know what? It's fun and I enjoy myself, hey, so I don't give a fuck. You got to stop and smell the roses, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, the trick is you pull your underwear up to your tits. 
That way, if you go like that, yeah, like it, it sucks in the fat. It's like a male girdle. Yeah, it's like a girdle pull, pull for sure. Pull them up over your love handles. No one knows. If your if your underwear is over your belly button, you look like a fool. Yeah, but who's gonna see that though? If you pull your, if you, you, your if you put uh, your hand. No, I'm just saying like yeah, Oh, with my, the shirt down Yeah Didn't you do a joke like that the one time? Because I really did it I went up on stage like Fuck, I look like I'm gaining weight So I pulled my underwear up to here <laughs> He had him up so high, and bro And then when I got out there I just like used it as a joke Like, here's a life hack You're gaining weight <laughs> You're getting fucking fat in the summer Don't worry about it Just pull your underwear up to your fucking tits And you know, and people just started dying Then he lifted his shirt up His shit was like Three inches below his That's nipples. That's pretty funny, <laughs> dude. Yeah, when when Big thing. Cat like has something like major going on, he wears a Spanx underneath, like like the the Spanx shirt. It has a big like uh, like outline around the neck, so you can't see anything's under it. It just holds everything. In. Looks, I mean, it definitely tightens works. Everything yeah, up. it tightens everything up. That's cheating. I wouldn't mind getting behind that. Yeah, <laughs> easier than the might the help gym. with my armpit sweat as well. That might be like, we should all get spanked up for the next live show. I'll like, tell you like what. Chiseled. I'll be spanking. Yeah, I'll spank. <laughs> as long as they go yeah. on the Costco. So it's, it's, like a short, <laughs> it's like a short into a shirt? It's like a spandex shirt pretty much. And yeah. it like in with a with a big neck hole so you can't see anything under it. And it just sucks everything in. Does it have underpants? Like, is it all in one? <laughs> no, it's a shirt. Uh, I don't think it's like a fucking... Does it yeah, have like one Does it have like the pec and ab muscles like <laughs> sewn no, no, into no, it's it? An undershirt. <laughs> I'm just, just holds around. it in. Yeah, yeah. It just holds it. Makes it's everything a little tighter. Like, uh, you're talking about like a bodysuit that chicks would yeah, wear. Yeah, bodysuit. That's what I was. Looking you snap for. it underneath your scrotum. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, this is Dan Samuel, longtime listener, probably one of the first ten Patreon supporters. My no man. Big deal. It's actually a huge fucking deal. But <laughs> um, I think this is a what would Greenfield do? I work downtown. I work in an office building, the Grant Building, on the 15th floor. Got to take the elevators. This isn't super common, but every now and then you call the elevator, you get in the elevator, nobody's in it, and it smells like absolute shit. <laughs> you know, somebody was in there very recently, they farted, they got out, and here you are dealing with the problem. So you get in, you get where you're going. Now when you go to get off, somebody's getting on problems, right, concerns. You have two options. You can warn them. Hey, buddy. Smells terrible in there. Might want to wait for the next one. If it wasn't me, right? You deny it. Or avoid eye contact. Keep it moving. I never know quite how to handle this situation. I think I usually keep it moving. I don't know if I've ever warned anybody. Unless I knew them, then it's not a problem. But if it's just a stranger, I mean, it's just a terrible spot to be in. So, yeah. Love your input on it. Love the show. Keep it up. See ya. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Thanks for the subscribe. That's, a, that's for sure a prickly situation. I think, I think well, you touched on it at the end. I think it depends on who's getting on the elevator. If you're going to see this person every day, maybe give them the heads up. Well, if, yeah. you're, if you're never going to see them well, again, you on put it, your head down. You if they're on it every day, they, shouldn't they know it's going to smell like shit? Like, just a stinky well, elevator. No, I, I think, right, but I think he was saying, like, if somebody, like, Crop dust it. Crop dust it. You're, you're caught red That's your Vader. Yeah. And then you go down, it still uh, stinks. Yeah. I, yeah, I think you got to kind of read what kind of person you're dealing with. Because, like, some people just look at you crazy when you say anything Right, back. but then if you say that, they're like, this dude's obviously like trying said, to, to blame you on someone else. You don't even make eye contact. Ding. Yeah, Put your right head off. down. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah, and if you know somebody, you'll be like, hey, man, someone else just shit themselves on here. Yeah, you might want to take the steps. To Dude, the- I, uh, <laughs> I've been taking a probiotic this week. And I'll tell you what, man. They're I've been, good. I've been farting. It'll keep you healthy. Oh, man, if I've been farting. Like some good? Are they like the? Are they like silent but deadly? Or they like letting all, them rip? Uh, it depends where I'm at, I, <laughs> dude. I I could, you know, I could put like a uh, a silencer on my farts if I need to. You, know, <laughs> you, like, just, you just keep your butthole just yeah, a little bit tight, you just tighten it up a little Squeeze. bit, and you, you like let it you let it go out nice and slow. <laughs> yeah. And then if I'm at home, dude, I'm just I'm I, I scare the dog. You know, I, mean, I let him fucking uh, farts are funny at home. You put a little muscle behind it. Yeah, and lean, lean, it's wet. It's never wet. <laughs> I love my I'll, separator uh, works. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got a good separator. That's it. Yeah. Water here, solid here. Yeah. You ever fart like at night when the like, brand like, new separator? When like no one's around, like Addie goes to bed before me, so I'll be downstairs like eleven, and I'll just like fart like super loud, and I'm almost like proud of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all After I do. my wife I and kids it, go to bed, it's like. I've been saving this one all fucking I, day, I, dude. I'm like, man, I wish I would have caught that on camera because it was just like the one I <laughs> had. cheese a little bit? Yeah, dude, I had a nice bowl of cheese soup <laughs> after D.C., got Ooh. home, had some cheese soup, laying there, we were in a car all day, so my gases in my intestinal were a little bit bound up. <laughs> and, dude, I let a fork go, and I was like, man, that was awesome. Like some hang time to it? Dude, I was farting. Yeah, we're nonsense. talking like 
nonstop four, on that four, car. Five. Yeah. <laughs> four, five. Yeah. Four, five. Dude, that's a long fart. Four you seconds, think, yeah. yeah. A long fart's funny. The thing is about stinky farts. If you if you have, like, a lot of stinky farts, go take a shit. Yeah, yeah. you know you know when it's going to be stinky. It's yeah. hot. It like, comes yeah. out hot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go shit, buddy. Yeah. Real close to poop. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, if it's you don't passing have... up poop. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 yeah, if it's firing off a turd. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know. <laughs> if your farts, like, if you don't have to poop, and you fart like they're really. You just have I, gas. That's what I. Yeah, if you I got hate, a shit. It's coming straight off the the turd cliff. Like when you're yeah. a little, you, like, you can feel it. Your mom be like, "Go <laughs> sit on the toilet." Like, dude, I don't got. I just got the farts. Man. It's just fart. wind. Yeah. Like, yeah, I drink a sprite. My stomach's yeah, I got a bubble little guts. bubble. I got bubbled up. I drink ginger ale. <laughs> hey guys, Mike Weiss from Brentwood. I'm trying to dine on myself, guys. It just fucked up. So I go into a local establishment, and go to order a sandwich to local Pittsburgh. Sandwich shop's been around forever. Whatever. Person that turned around behind the counter, I couldn't, I couldn't distinguish. And I'm not being a dickhead. I'm not being an asshole. I said, "How you doing, man?" And her eyes got big, and I was like, oh, "Sorry, sorry." I I couldn't apologize enough. Thank God it was just me and, and her in there. I the only cash I had on me was like, is my meal came to like thirteen something. I gave her thirty five dollars. That's what I had on me. Older again, I felt bad. She's like, "Don't worry about it." Made me feel, tried to make me feel okay about it. I'm just wondering, like, does this happen to you guys? You get tripped up, you know. What I mean, try to do the right thing. You get tripped up, and you end up doing the wrong thing. Then you look like a dick. Thank God she was understanding. But I see these Facebook reels and stuff where people aren't so understanding when people make those mistakes, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mistake. Shit happens. Yeah, well, yeah. and I'm I'm sure and he did the he, right he tried, thing. Yeah, he tried to make it right. That's all you yeah, can do. That's all you and, can and, do. And, and and they seem super cool about it and you know, hopefully it don't happen to them a bunch and stuff and, and it's just like the world we live in today. Like I think people are a lot more understanding than than, it, than what we see on the internet. For like sure. in real life, like I think no one really has a problem. I don't know too many people have a, a huge problem with trans people or, or you know, non binary or whatever. It's like I think Well, John you, does, besides John. <laughs> Everyone besides John does. <laughs> John the fuck with John. <laughs> but no, seriously, I think you know, and then like that, 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 that's gonna happen. I'm vague anyway. That, you just hate everybody. That, hate everything. That, yeah, hate right. everybody. That's gonna be like yeah, you did the right thing and you know, I think the world's a better place than the internet makes it out to be. For sure. What's up, boys? Kenny. All right, so listen. Third week in a row, i got to talk about jacking off on here, but here it goes. So, the first week, it sounded like I was dumping loads into the sink and I drink. There's a clean-up apparatus, towel, sock, shirt, whatever, on top of the sink for clean-up. That's all. Very simple. Uh, Greer grinder. Real quick, the... Uh, the old lady drinks wine. We have friends over. They like wine. I'm not a big wine guy. But uh, they always say, then she'll be getting a wine. I'm like, do you want a wine glass? you want stemless or stem wine glass? <laughs> and my career grinder is, I think a stemless wine glass is just a glass. <laughs> I don't care for the stemless wine glass. <laughs> That's a good point. When I drink wine, it's, uh, I don't know about good wine or bad wine, but, you know, I use a wine glass, even if the wine is out of a box. Stemless wine glass, just a glass. All right, I got two things here. The stemless wine glass, I agree with you, except that, like, in a bar restaurant setting, you need to go, it's better to go, like, stemless, especially if it's. chance of it breaking. It doesn't break. All right, so I was going to weigh in as well because my whole family makes, you know, wine. Dago Red. Everyone makes wine. Yeah. And. You don't drink Dago Red out of a fancy glass. You get like like a three ounce little yeah, glass. Yep, yeah, yep. And that's what you drink. That's a wine glass. Like in my house, if I'm like, hey girls, grab me a wine glass. That's what they grab. If Rosa says, give me a wine glass. It's they it has a stem. Yeah. yeah, right, right. It's like a margarita yeah. glass. Yeah. 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 Like a fish, like a fish tank. Yeah, right. Fish boy. Yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, I I have to disagree. Yeah, the little wine glass. Dude, when you're, when you're smashing them, that's what you need. Kenny, I think you need to send a video of like uh, you jerking off. Right. Because because it's like, I, every I, week, Patreon. every week, it's getting more and more confusing. So he's laying a towel in the sink and jerking off into the towel. Does he that's keep in the, the sink? Does he keep like this jerk off like cleanup apparatus like on his sink at all times? What's going on here? No, but he's just jerking. He's, he's jerking off. And but I'm he, assuming it's like throws it in a corner. Well, yeah, is Mrs. Kenny? I don't think he leaves it on the sink. But yeah, when it's done, he. 
So I was in the dirty clothes. The box. dirty clothes, right? Why but- not the toilet? You can flush it. Maybe maybe he's into sinks. He's probably too tall. He got for a the sink toilet. fetish. Is that he's what you're so saying? tall. It's just like yeah, that helps his dude. lean. Yeah, that's a that's a hell of a lean to do into the toilet when you're yeah, fucking six six. six there. Well, let's just <laughs> clear this up. You send us a video. We'll put it on TikTok and we'll we'll see how we'll it see goes. See how it hits. Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah Patreon. we'll be on Patreon. All right, everybody. I think we're taking a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're gonna have more of that Greenfield's finest podcast. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Ebert from Greenfield's Finance Podcast. If you're in the real estate market right now, if you're buying, selling, looking for someone to be a property manager, I know just the people. Carlson and Associates, located in the heart of Pittsburgh, Southside. Carlson Associates, not just known as Southside, they're known all over the Pittsburgh area, and they're great at commercial and residential, and they've got you covered. Call 412-431-1718 or visit their website, at casouthside.com. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know if you've ever had a problem like me, but if you've ever stuck your dick in the light socket, you're probably going to need an electrician. Well, good thing Greenfield Finest Podcast has Plug Electric as our official electricians of the Greenfield Finest Podcast. If you're looking for a good electrician, contact Plug Electric. Ask for Vance Hall, phone number 412-298-6770. That's 412-298-6770. And stop sticking your dick in the light socket. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Z-Bird from Greenfoot's Finest Podcast. If you're looking to go out this week, if you're a guy or a girl and you're looking for something to do and you and your friends want to go out, why don't you check out 12 Whiskey Barbecue at 1222 East Carson Street. Not only do they got some of the best drinks in the world, they got over 100 craft beers, and they absolutely have some of the best food in all of Southside. So check out 12 Whiskey Barbecue at 1222 East Carson Street if you want to go out and you want to have some good food and you want to fuck. I don't know about you, but shit's always breaking around my house, whether it's my washer, whether it's my dryer, whether it's my stove, whether it's my fridge. Something's always breaking. I used to have a handyman, but you can't rely on anyone nowadays until I find primetime appliance. 412-896-1395. They fix TVs, ovens, dishwashers, microwaves, and everything more. These are the guys that call, and they get the job done right. That's Primetime Appliance, 412-896-1395. And tell them you heard it on Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Hey, what's up, everybody? You looking for a fun night out in the south side, but you don't want to get punched in your face? Neither do I. That's why I'm going down Finn McCool's at 1501 East Carson Street. You want to go somewhere, have a beer, hang out with some people, see some hot chicks or some hot dudes, but you don't want to get punched in your fucking face? We'll go down to Finn McCall's at 1501 East Carson Street. Have a good time and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into Corn Dick of the Week. But real quick before we do that, we do want to remind you about our Patreon subscription. It really helps the podcast out. We, with the money that we've already received, we've been able to upgrade our cameras, and we plan on making more improvements. So thank you to everyone who've already signed up. If you haven't signed up and you can't afford it, just go to Greenfield's Finest Podcast at patreon.com. It's all over our social media. If you have any problems following or uh, finding it, you can always DM me, ask me. I'll, I'll more than happily shoot you the link. But uh, it really does. It's helping us get better equipment, and we're moving forward. So, all right, money line. It's time for corn dick of the week. Billy Peduto back at corn dick. Oh, back at it. Oh yes, fat dork. Uh, <laughs> Bill Peduto is excited that downtown is going to shit and McDonald's is closing because when he was a fat little kid. Uh, back in the seventies, he they had a jar of jelly beans, and he said he guessed how many jelly beans were Perfectly. in that jar, to the number, and he was supposed to get some type of some type of prize. McDonald's stiffed him. Uh, of course, you know Billy thought he was getting a couple cheeseburgers. McDonald's didn't come through. I don't believe he guessed. I think this. I think this is completely made up. Yeah, I think it's completely. Sounds made like up. And then he wrote karma on it. Yeah, like, like he was like, really, like he was really sticking like it to me. Like AB would stick karma. Yeah, like dude, like downtown's falling to shit. Half my fault, karma. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I started it off. Somebody yeah, right. else is finishing it. I think he's drinking a lot. Yeah, I think Bill might be drinking. He's drinking and tweeting. I think he's, I, which might, is great. I think he might be doing the gin or something because it's like it's it's ramped up. Bill, he's, he's noon. He's drinking a gin and tonic at noon. Yeah, no, he's yeah. having red wine spritzers all Whatever, day. Long. He's doing yeah. something. But he was firing back at comments. People, people were getting were, at him. Uh, but <laughs> he his was going comments back. were fucking, I got to give it to him. I don't know if it's someone 
they took over his account. No, Bill can tweet. See, he tweeted out. He was like, they were like, oh, you must be happy you ran ran another business out of Pittsburgh. The city's falling apart. Something to be proud of. McDonald's is closed now. And he said, quarter ponders flowed like the Monongahela during my administration. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right, John. I think, I think Bill's on the Bill's head. That's kind of funny. That is funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. And I don't think without yeah. a couple of tooties in them. But that being, yeah. But that being said, like it's half his fault. Oh yeah, Bill was a horrible, <laughs> hey, yeah. he was a horrible mayor. Yeah. yeah, loves the homeless. Loves the homeless. I don't hate the homeless, but like you know, didn't really do anything. No, loves to, bike lanes. Dude, well, bike neglect lanes. the bridges. Well, build bike right, lanes. Some couple couple bridges might have you know collapsed. Collapsed. You know, maybe went you know didn't get repaired under his watch. But yeah, he him and Joe Welsh right here, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna sit well with old Joe. Oh, man, I'm kidding, Joe. <laughs> Help you mulch any time, buddy. Uh, we had a guy get boomed by a car on Carson Street. You guys see this video? No. This dude was like down by uh, probably like 17th Street or something like that. Comes out of the bar, goes to sprint across the street like to another bar. When I say he doesn't look, he doesn't look at all. Here comes a Jeep, probably going about 40, 35, 40 miles per hour. Boom! <laughs> they sent this dude going about 30, 40 feet, I bet. He, uh, then he, he tried die? to. No, he didn't die. He, like, tried to get up like he was okay, like in shock, and then he just crumbled back down. I don't know what <laughs> he's going to walk are. it off. Yeah, he, he thought, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, you have Boom. cerebral hemorrhaging, my yeah. friend. <laughs> you need a minute, dude. Dude, I- I'll be honest with you. I almost did that once on time. I think we all have, but, <laughs> yeah. like, he got it. In this car, like, somebody was like, oh, you almost hit him. I'm like, that was my fault. I that wasn't him. That was me. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've ever done it because I like I've always worked down there and I always like every every other week like someone got cracked by a car. Someone got there's like, not just grit. This this video's in 4K. It's crystal clear. Like, yeah. He got popped. Eddie pushed me into the street the one time. We were at we had a softball game, drinking all day. We were going to Caravan Club in our softball uniforms, and we were hammered drunk. There's a fucking like eighteen wheeler coming down Carson at a very like high speed. Ed pushes me in front of it, and like like, like it, I was probably about a, a eight inches away from getting cracked by eighteen wheeler. <laughs> yeah, the you dude, really got up from that the one. The dude f- went nuts on us. He called the police. We had to like we had to like run because like you know Ed tried to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and to a blind eye, it wouldn't appear like hey, two really good friends. Now, did he laugh just after? horsing around? Yeah. You know what I mean? No, he didn't laugh at all, Johnny. He almost killed me. He was scared to death. Oh, all right. So that yeah. it was like a joke. Oh, like Eddie? Before. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think he laughed. I thought yeah, he was okay. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah, I think he laughed. Truck driver, I, not so much. But we both just like, look, we were so fucked up. We both just looked at her like, oh, for a second. Then I think we, we you know, we, we went in. We went, got drunk. We went, kept, yeah. kept it going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't die. <laughs> but, uh, did you guys watch any of the Met Gala? I'm, 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 I was pretty safe to say no one here on this podcast I, caught any of the Met Gala. I, seen, I just seen the, the one Jenner stress where it showed her butt cheeks yeah it's pretty that was pretty good I, i'm not gonna lie i took a gander at them them cheeks and i was like there's some nice cheekage yeah kendall good just cheekage. as a being a human being like i mean as, yeah. a, as, you know, as a third party observer yeah i'm not a creep i'm just saying she had some nice cheekage i understand why there was no dress in the back if uh <laughs> i get it part of me misses covid because there was a time during covid where like nobody gave a fuck about celebrities and it was good. Yeah, you know what I mean, life was good. I, I never got back to caring about. No, I, I don't. No, I didn't care before. I didn't. Care, yeah, right. But I'm saying like there was a point where like they didn't have they there was nothing they could really do. No one really gave a shit. And like it was starting, you could tell like it was yeah. you could, it was obvious. It was wearing on. It them. was this wearing is on. Just them. Pulling back. Yeah, they start bit. singing like "Joy to the World" together and everybody's making fun of them. Weird yeah. shit like that or wherever that was. Yeah. Uh this celebrity, I don't even know who it was, wrapped themselves in like giant moving like bubble paper like layers and layers and hopefully like suffocated a thou- a thou- i hope they suffocated yeah it was like a thousand dollars worth of bu- bubble paper it looked uh. like and had like six people carry carry them out to the car so nobody could see what they're wearing to the met gala like leaving the hotel and the people were carrying them were like they were acting like they were carrying like Mona Lisa. Yeah, exactly. Like it was so important. It was just I was like, this is so stupid, man. That I that's the shit I hate. Like you're you're 
It's a bunch of people telling each other how fucking how important pertinent. everything yes, is. Yes, no, yeah. how important you are. You, you are, telling me how important well, I am, and I'm telling you, like, we are so important. Right, but then also the people <laughs> that work for them are like, dude, I had to get, like, yeah. re- this was, I don't you think. See, like, hey, you see me? I'm the yeah, third like, guy in here in the bubble wrap We were lady. so stressed out, we had to get Rihanna into the, like, dude, shut up. Yeah, right. Yeah. I almost got more mad at them than I did whoever that celebrity was. I mean, but you know I what? Just, I would do it because I like they're a, making some cheddar. Yeah, I envisioned this fake conversa- conversation I made up in my head, and I got all wound up. I always do. That. Yeah, I'll it's fun to do. Back and forth, and then and by the end, I and I'm mad, and I, I don't know some, why. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> and it never even, I mean, never even met the person. John, I would imagine you do that from time to time. What's that? Just, I'm having one right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see me? Yeah. Right the, he yeah. wasn't even listening to yeah. yeah, He was just mad at somebody. <laughs> Stu never like said to him. Bobble paper. Fuck <laughs> Bobble paper. Uh, we had an N- NYC police officer. Throwing up rival gang signs to a gang member in a full blown cop uniform. I like to see that. Yeah. The one dude was talking like mad shit to the cop. You know, he, he was in one that one gang. The other dude was a uh, he was a Latino guy. He started the cop was he a started Latino stacking guy. on he him. Start, he, yeah, he started throwing Latin King gang signs oh, back at him, dude. Shit. He's like, I'm old out there. Yeah, I would, <laughs> I, would, I, would ima- I would imagine the dude's probably didn't get pretty jammed up for that one, but like, yeah. also fun to see. Yeah. You know. Yeah, Fun I don't think you're going to see him in a fucking yeah. Yeah. recruit cops these days. Sometimes you got to go to the <laughs> other side of the yeah. not, not too many people want to be cops. Yeah. <laughs> you got to take what you can get. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Tough gig. Yeah, yeah right. right. You got the Latin Kings <laughs> well, you're running in the, the precinct. You were in the Kings? How long? How long ago? Three years? All right, yeah. that's cool. All right. As long as you're under five, we'll take yeah. you. Yeah, you got an 85 on your, your written test. You're in there. <laughs> yeah. right. You're in hey, there. Sarge. Andy's, yeah. multi- <laughs> Andy's multilingual. Yeah, <laughs> he's it. bilingual. He's in. <laughs> uh, we had a kid at a Lakers game. I hate this kid so bad. It was. <laughs> oh, uh, this is fucked up. So it's like a halftime event, halftime show type deal. They gave this kid a basketball. Like, 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 hey, Ryan, you have like thirty seconds to score ten points. And there was mark, there was, there was markings on the floor of what each like each little like ball like was. So the points, like, points. Yeah. So yeah, he had an opportunity. It was, it was a very easy thing. So he had to score 10 points in 30 seconds. It was a foul shot, a three-pointer, a couple layups, you know, and, you know, he would have got his prize. This kid, and, like, this is what's wrong with kids these days, he takes the opportunity to, like, you know, show off and make it all about him. They're like, all right, Ryan, are you ready? He's like, I was born ready. And he just starts, like, like hyping the crowd up, getting everybody wound up, doing a little, like, you know, TikTok <laughs> dance, whatever they do. Doing that shit, and the, the girl announces like, "All right, Ryan, like, you better let's get go. Going. Time, yeah. like, you, you know, you got." Oh, his time had already started. Already started, and he's like, and he thinks he's Hulk Hogan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did he really? Yeah, and the chick was like, "You know, you you got to shoot," and then he shoots a three pointer, bricks it, and then okay. times up. Times up. Good. You blew your moment, kid. Yeah. Everybody hates you. I hope your fifteen seconds of fucking nonsense was worth dude, it, dude. Well, everyone on the internet is crushing him. Yeah, yeah. He, he, is, he deserves it, dude. Do you think he's seen the dude that the Make a Wish kid for the Jets? Who was just to- all? Who was the man? He was the that man. That kid did a great. He job. He did a great job, but it seemed like this kid seen that. It was like, I need to do that. But this dude was announcing a pick, and he like, he yeah. wasn't on the clock to win a prize, dude. Right. It was his moment. It was his moment. Yeah. Was it the Chiefs? The Chiefs had a good one too. They had a kid come up and got everybody all hyped up. He did like the last pick. The dude from the Jets. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. You did. You back to speaking of that, man. When those people that come up, old people, the old like old players. Listen, if you're a Make a Wish kid, if you know, Set, do you whatever gotta, you want. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you when want. When you're a 75 year old Hall of Famer, yeah, keep it short and sweet. And you're I know like, exactly what you're talking oh about. Oh my god, the dude, he was like, and let's not forget about mothers. Yeah, he started talking. But he's like, there was a few of them. Don't forget to call your mother. And I'm like, remember the dude last year? They were they like had a like. They like came up like yo, say the uh, pick. Yeah, they like. Then yeah. he got pissed. Yeah. What dude was? Oh man. The I, one dude like gave a guy like a shout out like, oh my man, Ricky down at like the Auto Zone. Like thanks for hooking me up. And yeah. He, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> he checked my battery yeah. and my alternator. Yeah, yeah, I love you, Ricky. Like, dude, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Uh, bad news, boys. Oral sex is linking to a, a spike in throat cancer. The reasoning HPV. They were saying what's his name was right it's then. It's grease and roots. They were saying uh, it's coming from grease and roots. They got HPV in the ass. I I don't. I, I didn't go to school Dude, for no. science. H poop yeah. B. But they're saying <laughs> they were when I read the article. It was saying uh, fellatio, which is eating butthole. We call it grease and root. So like when you're grease and root, <laughs> fellatio is 
Oral sex. Yeah. Oral sex. That's not fellatio. Like, it's not strictly yeah, butt. Well, I thought fellatio is greasing root. No. 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 Just I don't oral think there's sex. a term for that besides greasing root. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I, think I think you <laughs> named it. I think the scientific term is greasing root. Is greasing root. root. So, like, but they. I wait, thought, wait, 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 wait. We're not root, skipping over it. Mutarius greasio So you saw fellatio meant, like, ass heating? Yeah. Idiot. Motherfucker go off the van two weeks ago. <laughs> I know what fellatio is, though. I know. Well, I did. Well, wait. Gonna, what's yeah. what's the dude that uh, got throat cancer? The the actor, and he said uh, he was eating too much pussy. That's why he got throat cancer. Bill what's Bellamy. Was, no, no, the one that married to uh, Catherine Zeta Jones or whatever. Oh, Michael, Michael Douglas. Douglas. Michael yeah, Douglas. that's what he's the one that said it. Oh, well, yeah, he, he was. He's like, yeah. he's like, that or he's swall- a heavy smoker. No, he's like, I've been swallowing way too much coochie juice, and it's just he fucking said tearing that? my fucking gullet he apart. He said he was just drinking, funneling cooch juice. Yeah. yeah. He was Douglas beer bonging fucking Catherine clam juice. juice. Yeah. I'll tell you what, there was a girl in Greenville back in the day. <laughs> You grease that. You grease that. You're waking up with a sore throat. <laughs> waking up with a rough one. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. in this room got a like sore throat. You got strep throat again, dude. <laughs> Jeez. You haven't learned your lesson yet, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, you live in your. You live in your life. <laughs> Old throat cancer. Huh? <laughs> Who ever thought this? Was There's so many dudes dropping like flies in Greenfield from yeah. throat cancer. Dude. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't resist. <laughs> so new funny. era complains about <laughs> complains to the MLB about the Braves have one of those big hats, the giant hats. They're fun, you know what I mean. Yeah. But new era doesn't make those hats. It's like some like it's like I think it's like a small mom and pop shop that makes those big hats. It's like a safety hat, right? Yeah. Well, no, no, no like the, remember, like the dude from the Redskins had like the giant hat. It's just a big fucking. It's a hat. big baseball cap. <laughs> yeah, but it fits your head regular. It, it fits you regular, but it's a it's a hat out to yeah. here. Yeah, it's huge. It's cool. You can't play with it though, right? No, You're just saying as a fan. It, no, 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 no. When the Braves like hit a home run or like do something good, they wear the big cap. Oh, uh, okay. It's okay. not a new era cap. New era got uh, the deal with uh, MLB. MLB. They bitch about it. They shut it down for the Braves, so the Braves can't wear the big hat. They, are they on a losing streak now? Hopefully, I hope so. And so they're like blame new era. Yeah, hopefully, because uh, baseball players are super, super well, super superstitious. superstitious. Hockey, hockey super, players are superstitious. Super, uh, they well. all are athletes in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah like th- that could mess up their flow for sure. Uh, but I love the big hat, man. I mean, dude, you can let some shit it's slide. Like let some shit slide. Yeah, that's like the problem with baseball. Like you're on the right track. New, man. new era, you're doing right. You've been yeah, selling baseball yeah, you're hats fine. for two hundred years. You have the market cornered yeah, on the hats. Only, dude. You're the only people that make hats. Right. The big, yeah. yeah. The big hat trend isn't like coming on. Like I'm not going to come in here next week with, with a, a giant hat. hat. Yeah, Greenfield Finest Podcast hats. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Giant. <laughs> fits, it's so big it fits on Larry's fucking huge head. <laughs> uh, like baseball, like you know, you got the pitch clock. The Pirates are fucking in first place. You're on the right track here. Like, don't yeah. fuck times it up. Are good. The times are good. If you want to, like, let let it, let the did, people wear a big hat. Did you watch the game the other day where fucking Swinsky hit a grand salami? I was that eighteen one game or something? Yeah, was like, Dude, yeah. I was watching it. I was I was into it. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, yeah, no, you After he came it. off the field, and he, they put that fucking jacket on him. I and love he had the that sword. Sh- yeah, oh, and, the I, sword. Like, remember, like back in the day when they were good, they did the Zoltan. Yeah. Now they do the fucking. They, they pulled the sword, the sword out. Like that's yeah. hard. I, I love like that. that shit. Yeah, that's, yeah dude's I like walking it. around Pittsburgh with samurai swords, eye patches, and swords. Downtown really get goofy with a bunch of wrist bracelets. They all just go out western. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> I think the turnover chain. Like I love the turnover chain. Yeah, right. It's during fun. the XFL, it's great. I like real quick back to that. The, during a turnover, they run into like the opposing end zone, and people just start firing shit at them. And lemons, then it, do, lemons, <laughs> and a dude will grab his dick and said, "Suck my dick, motherfucker." See you after the game, and I'm like, this is fucking That's great. Entertaining. They were really getting into it with the fans. It was, <laughs> dude. It was that first half was a rowdy. They were man. giving it back. I loved it, dude. Get gave it back at halftime. Uh, <laughs> Brother in arms, Zebra's been t- talking about gay aliens yeah. for the past week. Let's hear about these gay aliens. So gay as aliens, of, yeah. So as gay of, aliens, <laughs> yeah. So as of right now, the gay aliens, they're they're supposed like they already said that our society's not set up to accept gay aliens. So, like, you know, I'm like, we'll accept regular aliens, but not gay aliens. Well, I went through this. It was completely insane. And right now there's a movement for for the LGBTQ to include gay aliens into it. And I'm like, 
if you want to do it, that's cool. Like, I don't know any regular aliens, let alone gay aliens. It's going to be kind of a difficult thing. And yeah, like, you're splitting hairs. Well, they're fighting for gay alien rights. So, uh, like, I respect that. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? If you're a gay alien, you want to come to Earth, and you're like, you know, I don't skimwalker ranch, and you come through that portal, and, you know, you get here, and you're, you you know, your, your boyfriend, and you're like, hey, what's going on? Happy to be here. And, you know, you find out the dude... <laughs> He, he likes dudes, you know. He likes. He wants to go to the Pegasus. Big he, deal. He, he, you know, he comes down with a twelve pack of Bud Light and some fellatio. So it's, <laughs> you know, whatever floats his boat. Don't you think aliens are just like a holes a hole like guy girl? Like yeah. they don't really matter. They're you genderless. Think, you, yeah, I think. I think Any it, port in the galaxy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'll show you a black hole. They're just, like, <laughs> they're just ponding away. Yeah, aliens play. I mean, you know, if, if we're doing podcasts and they're millions of years ahead of us, like, I can just imagine what they're talking about on their podcast. Dude, do you, do you ever like? Did you ever like look up like alien porn, like any weird shit yeah, like that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Did you jerk off like? to it? <laughs> My embar- most embarrassing jerk off. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> so this chick was like having sex with this alien but like he she got swallowed up in the alien and then like the alien's tentacle was going into her vagina and then like <laughs> she like somehow the alien semen came out of her mouth and I masturbated to it. I'm not, <laughs> wasn't my proudest jerk off moment, but like it, they caught me off guard. I was scrolling and I was like, dude, you know how you get that You find it, some weird shit out there, died, brother. It was like alien monster Conquered and the chick was hot. I, she was like a famous. And it was just like a little. It, it was it, it, no. She was swallowed inside like this big giant. But you're like, saying he was like a little uh, digit. It wasn't like a penis. It was, it was like, no. It was a like tentacle. That's the tentacle. Was like. The tentacle was firing it was, in the coos. Was it thick? <laughs> it, it, dude, the tentacle was huge. And then like I'm like, damn, she's taking that whole tentacle. And then like <laughs> the, she was loving it though. Like at first she didn't like it, but then she turned like loved the alien. And then when the alien jizzed. Like you just seen like her head like, I'm sure a lot. Of what graphic. color was the jizz? It was regular, like our jizz. So that's like, <laughs> yeah. I thought if I had a guess, it'd be like some green. Yeah, I was gonna say purple. She literally <laughs> spit out like a gallon of milk. There was shit coming and out. It of came her ears. through her body. That was the intent. CGI. Yeah, like, that's what they used. Oh, so it wasn't a real alien. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they used uh, no. They had act, hired actors first, but the alien wasn't a CGI alien. You end up finding out it was a bunch of Asian dudes, and each of them like controlled a tentacle. So it was like someone was in the body. <laughs> the one and, dude was just <laughs> like he was plunging the toilet. Yeah, just, just any port in a storm. Like that's so, a like, tough gig. You're right. So you're like, who came up with that? You know what I mean? Like Is this like, Asian porn. No, yeah, it was yeah. alien, but it, it was alien porn, but like on like an Asian site. Yeah, no, it was, it, anime. It was on X video, regular old X video. Was it an Asian girl too? She was like, she, uh, see, I don't, I can't, she might have been. He doesn't, yeah, ju- he doesn't judge people by their yeah, ethnicity. I think she was Asian. Now that you say that, but she was like, I'm just trying to see where you were. Yeah, like, mentally was, when this was going. <laughs> what did you search? You remember? <laughs> No, it was. I, I wanted to go out. It was a scroll, and it was like th- I was on like thirty four. <laughs> it was like on you got one deep. page one thousand. They're like, it was on page, here, try this, dude. It, it was, was on page. His one- battery was like, I'm at twenty percent. It was like yeah. one of them days when I was laid off in the winter, and I was like all the way on page thirty four. I was just looking for something different. <laughs> you found it, yeah. And then Haley, <laughs> you sure did. And she got the ten. Does it look like that little jellyfish there was just? She was in the gel. Okay, so she's <laughs> in that little jellyfish right there. But them tentacles are like wrapped up in her, and they're, so- they're not all up in her, just the one. But it was hammering away at her coos, and it was going in there, and she took it like a champ. And, but dude, when the alien skated, there was just alien jizz everywhere, like literally coming out of her ears, like filled her up. Yeah, and then t- <laughs> she. And then I didn't finish watching it, but I believe she yeah, already you got came. It. Yeah, I already, I already got my ski up. I I'm, had already arrived. Yeah, but I'm like, dude. That like, post not realization after sh- that. That shame. You're like, yeah. what is wrong with the me? The shame took over. <laughs> and not in a paper towel can't take care of. Or Kenny's sink. Yeah, or Kenny's sink. sink. <laughs> His beach towel. His jerk off sink. Uh, speaking <laughs> of spare holes, we had a girl write on the Reddit. Hi, 22 female. I've been seeing this guy for a little while. I thought he was really funny and sweet, really supportive. We've been going on dates and sleeping together and stuff. I looked over his shoulder while he was texting the other day, and his in his context, he had me stored as spare hole. 
<laughs> no. This girl thought she was on a fast track to a relationship. This dude just has her a spare hole. He didn't even put her name in. Uh, <laughs> spare hole was ruthless. Not yeah. even hole number one. Yeah. Not, not even, she didn't even have a number. No. She was like, not even in the rotation. Like, like in the trunk under the mat. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> They'd be Spare. going to Red Lobster together. And like, <laughs> she thought everything was going good, and she's just in his contacts. A spare had, hole. Had a couple cheddar biscuits. She was feeling herself, smoked a little cheap, and she oh, my God, this is the one. And then she was like, wait, who's spare hole? And she's like, that's me. Uh, yeah, she called his phone, and it came up spare hole. I'm yeah. spare hole. <laughs> With credit to that flattering. guy, that's pretty funny. I that's give it very funny. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's hilarious. Not to Not her. Not to her. Yeah, right. Yeah. To us. That's, that's really, really yeah, all that soul crushing for her, but eh. <laughs> you live and you learn. Yeah. So you think you bring that up? What do you do there? You act like you never seen it. No, she's probably devastated. What the fuck is this? You're like, yeah, you just kinda, uh, I thought that's I thought that's what this was. But, but imagine, you know, let's let's flip this real quick. One idiot. Imagine you're dating someone. You see your name comes up. It's something not great. Spare dick. Not spare, We wouldn't care spare about spare tentacle. Baby dick. That's now that's for now you're hurtful. That's mean. That's now hurt. you're being hurtful. I, I bet you, baby dick is as hurtful to us as spare hole is to her. Do you think he called his <sighs> boys like, dude? You'll never believe spare hole fucking saw she was spare hole in my yeah. phone. And they're howling. Yeah, and they're howling. Like, dude, I told you to change you. Yeah. <laughs> his boy was like, errs. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there was a girl back in the day that like we just called ugly face and like. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, like someone will be like, "Dude, you see old ugly face," and it's just like the most rude. She's not even that. She's not ugly, but like we've been calling her ugly face forever. And like, uh, it'll be a screenshot, or like she'll like be out, and like we're like like oh, there's old ugly face. Yeah, good <laughs> like, it would, names never it would die. crush this girl if she knew that. No, yeah, if you're ugly face, you're ugly face forever. Yeah. But yeah, spare hole and ugly face. That ain't that that uh that ain't great. <laughs> Uh, Morgan Wallen fan wants to ref- wants a refund for every do- for every dollar she ever spent in her life. So Morgan Wallace uh, Wallen canceled a concert <laughs> recently. He has literally just lost his voice, but it was fucked up because they let everybody into the concert. The opener went on. Everybody get a little tuned up, had some drinks. They thought it was like an intermission, and then they just put a sign up like on the jumbotron, like pretty much like, "Hey, Morgan Wallen lost his voice. He's not performing tonight." People weren't ha- happy, so she put an itemized list together. Uh, of what she thinks she's owed, uh, and he did. He refunded like every, he refunded the tickets for everybody. But she said hotel five hundred, gas two tanks eighty dollars, tickets four sixteen hundred. My outfit one twenty, husband's outfit two eighteen, Oxford Grill House two thirty five, Cracker Barrel forty, Los Palermos another restaurant forty five, <laughs> Rebel Rags because we couldn't have we wouldn't have. Had the opportunity to go if it had not been for the concert. I don't know what the fuck that even means. Si- whatever that is, it's six twenty nine. Drinks at concert two twenty. So this chick thinks Morgan Waller owns her about five grand, more or less. You know what? Though? He's a he's a nice guy. He'll probably give this broad fucking free tickets to shut her up. I don't think he will because the way she went at it, she got, she's being she, very cunty. Yeah, yeah. we got it. It's obviously a yeah. carrying on her hands here. Yeah, but yeah. uh. She got cracked online too. Oh, she, good. She, she deserves it as well. Yeah, like dude, dude lost his voice. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah, what not, do you some, want him to do? He probably some, thought like, yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Then that's that's like, exactly yeah. what happened. Or, or he would have canceled beforehand. Like if he was knew that it, he was trying. Like, all right, I can make it, guys. Like, and then they're like, so crunch this, time. I can't do it. So I agree with you. You know, you can't fuck it. He probably did everything he fucking could. Right. They, he's they drinking said, tea and honey. They said there was a rumor he was all like all fucked up partying with like some famous chick the night before that's and possible. blah blah blah, so which what? is also possible. Mind your fucking business. I would imagine. That, I would imagine that's probably happens to Morgan a lot. He probably gets yeah, an IV yeah. and bounce back. Dude probably couldn't sing. Why would he want to refund all that money? That's a fuck ton of money. Yeah. yeah. That being yeah. said, it kind of happened. It happened to Luke Combs. What Luke Combs did came out, told everybody that he wasn't be able to. Like sing as usually as he like good like at, as he usually would. Yeah, his throat's fucked up. They're gonna play the songs in the background. He's gonna do the best. He needs their help to sing, and he refunded everybody's tickets. So that's, you still got to see him perform. Yeah, that's that's that's. I a mean, class that's going a, that's a, above and beyond. Yeah, because really, you can make your your voice worse by you know. Sure, he could have to cancel six shows now. Right, yeah. right. So, and he has a manager. He probably told Matt, "Hey, dude, you can't chance this. You're gonna be out for a minute." Like right. take it on the chin, 
What is he in the middle of his tour or, or what? I don't know. It was know like the beginning. Oh, the beginning. Yeah, yeah, you have to nurture your voice, obviously. Yeah, have it's your money said, maker, babe. Have some honey. Yeah, honey and tea, babe. Yeah. Some chamomile. Dude likes to party too. He could have been. Who knows? But he could have got too drunk. All right, let's let's just say he was. You yeah, know, he bad lost voice. His voice. <laughs> hey, I'm a Morgan Wallen guy. He's the country Drake. <laughs> uh, wife whacks husband in the head with an 18 inch dodo after a fight. I. This All right, question one: Why is she have a big ass deal like that? that? Yeah, that's yeah. that's, is it, is it that's double, hefty. Is that a double sided? Nah, that's a one sided hammer time. That's like a tentacle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is like a tentacle. <laughs> Dude, you should have seen the egg on this guy's fucking forehead. Yeah, uh, it was mo- it was the biggest egg I ever seen. It was out to here. Yeah, I'm like, what is that thing made of cement? It probably like wrapped around his forehead too, and just crowned him all the way. Probably hurt like fuck. It has to be heavy. Dude, it probably got some good torque on it. If it yeah. That's what I mean. Whack. Obviously, yeah. it has a nice handle grip. You're not ready for that. You just get 18 inches of hard rubber yeah, right to the skull. That's a concussion for sure. Oh, oh yeah, CT. no, he was jacked up. I would have fell on the ground and fucking made her call the ambulance. Said my neck was fucked up. My wife beat me in the head with a dick. I would have had a class action lawsuit against the dildo maker. It's one thing for your wife to have a vibrator or leave a dildo, whatever. Yeah, but like 18 inches. 18 inches. What are we doing? What are here? you into, kid? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you're, <laughs> knocking, you're knocking down walls. Like, babe, what are you doing? When I, um, well, whenever you're stepping fuck. into that after that thing, I mean, you yeah, know you, something's going right. on. Right? You, you can't touch both sides at once. Either you're yeah. fucking the whole Steelers offensive line, or you got a gigantic fucking dildo. Like, which one is it? Because your pussy's blown to smithereens. Yeah, smithereens. Yeah, you can only like, touch one wall. Yeah, you're like, yeah. So you got to wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go in at a forty-five. <laughs> you're like, Connie, I'm gonna have to bend you up like a pretzel here. <laughs> Maybe we ought to try the old number two hole tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Forget about the curve. She only uses the eight-inch dildo. Eater. <laughs> she only uses the eight-inch dildo for her O-ring. Maybe oh. a little fellatio. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Suck on that butthole. <laughs> Uh, we had a boss put a toxic <laughs> sign up. Uh, so he said, attention employees. And this is in caps and red uh, letters underlined. Work is not meant to be fun. This is your job. Do not dedicate work time to discussion of non-work topics. Do not facilitate friendships during work hours. Exchange phone numbers and or hang out after work is complete. Reach me if any, and then he put his number, if any coworker is having non-work discussions on company time, work is not a daycare. You're here to work, and that was it. What kind of I, job is it? I, I, I guarantee you, it's a warehouse. I was thinking like it was some type of uh, like call center or something like that. I, th- it could this dude be seems that, like a huge douchebag. I, I worked, oh, huge. I worked at a warehouse. It was a, a vitamin warehouse, and they had rules like that. And they par- they uh, paired people up on purpose. They didn't think we'd get along with or talk about anything like that. And, like, if you were, like, seen, like, they had cameras everywhere. If you were seen, they would definitely come over, like, is everything okay? And you're like, yeah, you know, we were talking about Steeler game last night. We have a lot of orders to fill. We don't have time. And, like, you could have been busting your dick. They didn't care. They didn't want you talking to each other. They, did, they made sure that, like, the people they thought were friends, they would start fucking up your lunches. Like, me and my one boy worked there. We accrued some other friends. They literally split us up. They, they made me come in 15 minutes earlier. The other guy 15 minutes before that. So our lunches and everything was thrown off. That's uh, wild, man. Dude, I'm like, and we, we all end up leaving the job shortly after. But like, dude, it's like they don't want us to like, like we still get a lot of shit done. Like they didn't want us right, to be, They right. want you to just be Maybe, a robot. What's you think? It's like affecting production? Like, yeah, exactly. A thousand percent. Yeah, that's why I think it's like a call center, like some type of warehouse or something like that. It was like, yeah, the vitamin warehouse was like a, so like everyone had a scanner and you're running orders, like almost like Amazon. Like you're like going, like getting orders, putting them together, put, giving them the shipping. They ship, put it together, ship it out. So like you were banging them out, and you had a quota, and like no one was ever under their quota. And they put these ridiculous like bonuses that like no one would ever hit. But they were the job didn't pay great, and it was all recovering drug addicts. So it was like eventually everyone just got sick of their shit and got better jobs. Right, and that's I'm sure that was probably by design. You know, they just, just keep flipping and flipping. It's Imagine not, being the guy that has to put that up, put it, Or put it up. And my, or, name, my or, number's there. Or the guy, or yeah, call me, if, or you're with your call if anybody's having a, like, non-work I'd, I'd quit the fucking job. But the guy that has to go up to you and, like, enforce, like, you not talking, that's a, hor- that's a horrible thing. Like, hey, game. Mike, yeah. uh, I noticed you and Jack are pretty good pals here. Mm. Uh, we're going to have to split you guys up, okay? Sorry, hey, great, great job, though. This happened to Roseanne when she worked in a warehouse, and George Clooney was her boss. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Clooney used to fucking 
bring the hammer down on Roseanne, Jackie, and Crystal when they were trying was to- Was he trying to bang Jackie, though? I think he might have banged one of them. Crystal was always throwing it out there. But, like, they were, like, they worked at, a, like, a toy factory or some shit, and they'd, like, put toys together or some shit. Or a plastic factory. They would break yeah, spoons Lanford off. Plastics. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Clooney would come out of his office and just Damn, bring the I hammer out. Clooney. I mean, it, it worked out that for him. That was, like, his first gig, Yeah, I it think. was his first yeah. gig, and then it worked out for him. He ended up being a doctor. He was still, so he was st- yeah, he was yeah. still great looking. Yeah. Or, you know, he was a young Fuck, he young had so Clooney. young in that. He was Super going, young. Right, the physician. Yeah, he was banging Jackie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was going to medical school, and then he got himself on ER. Good for Jackie. She knocked it out of the park. I mean, that's a major She's, kill. She was out kicking her coverage for I sure. I mean, dude, Jackie and Crystal would got around town, especially Jackie. Because she liked to drink. Loved to drink. Yeah, she, she, she always- was- Fucking every random dick and Yeah, she would always date like the bad guy. Remember the one time when Dan had to beat the uh, fuck out of yeah, dude to put uh, hands on her? When, yeah. uh, oh, I'm not going to think of his name, but yeah, he fucking, fucking gave her a few body shots. She was shots. like, well, what did you say to him, Dan? She was like, I didn't say anything. He said, what did he say? He's like, I think it was ouch, ouch my head. Yeah. <laughs> and then he came back with a bucket of chicken. He was eating the chicken and <laughs> lo- five O showed up. Yeah, I love Dan, dude. I love Dan, too. <laughs> the old school Roseanne was a great show. And Crystal was banging Dan's dad. That was fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, we could turn this into Roseanne podcast <laughs> if you want. All right, let's take a break. All right, baby, we'll take a quick commercial break. We'll come back with more Greenfield Times podcast. You might recognize my voice from Greenfield's Finest Podcast, but you'd recognize my face more from Rosado and Sons Landscaper, where I've been an employee for over five years, where I work with owner son, John Rosado. If you're looking for quality landscaping, pressure washing, snow removal, and lawn maintenance, which includes fertilizer, grub control, weed killer. Call 412-521-9045. This isn't some pop-up operation. They've been in business for over 80 years. So if you want good quality work, call Rosado and Sons Landscaping at 412-521-9045. Tell them Z-Bird sent you and get the special discount. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're having car problems right now, there's not really too many places to go that you can trust. One place you can is Meineke Car Care Center, located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. They handle everything, not just oil changes, but brakes, maintenance, everything. So if you need, if you have car trouble and you need help, make sure you call Meineke Car Care Center, 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin, phone number 412-451-451. 8968 and ask for Arthur. Did you just get the bad news that your girlfriend's fucking your neighbor? Well, it sounds like a pretty shitty situation. I got just the answer. Miracle Movers. You need to move in a hurry? Call Miracle Movers. 412-419-2620. They're fully bonded and insured and you're not taking any risk like you are with your whore girlfriend. So call Miracle Movers at 412-419-2620 and get out of that house before you catch any STDs. Did you just walk into your bathroom and take a giant shit and realize that your bathroom is a giant pile of shit? Well, I got the answer for you. Bath Factory and Window. You dream it and they build it. Bath Factory and Window. 412-951-3939. From your bathroom to your windows, transform your home with Bathroom Factory and Window. You can also find them at bathfactoryandwindow.com. Hey, what's going on, folks? I don't know if you knew this, but the number one pe- reason people get lawsuits against them when people come over to their house is faulty steps, faulty sidewalks. What are you going to do about it? Your house is a walking booby trap. Well, you can call Giuseppe and Sons. Need your sidewalk and steps fixed or replaced? Call Giuseppe and Sons at 412-421-6711. And if you're looking for any masonry work in the Pittsburgh area, these are the guys you can trust. That's 412 412- Four two one six seven one one. Hey, what's, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfoot's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into what's grinding our gears. Johnny, what's grinding them gears? Dude, I went like down a rabbit hole, like looking at old pictures of like, you know, he's looking at the kids, you're looking at that, and like I literally have been wearing the same clothes for like 10 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the exact same clothes. Yeah. I might upgrade the shoes a little bit here and there, maybe a hat. Yeah. But like. No, we're at am, that age. Bro. Am I at that age? Like, what's we the, are. What's the movie with Ryan Gosling? Like, dude, 
you got to get your shit together. Like, somebody needs to tape you on a shopping spree. I don't know what's hip anymore. Like, yeah, it's like one of my favorite. I, anytime, like, I'm drawing a blank, but I know exactly. What you're yeah, talking about. I feel the same way though, dude. I, I look. Like, at I'm everything. not the dude wearing the New Balances, but I mean, I've been wearing the same shit for ten years. Dude, Will told us that like, we got we we're meeting him on Saturday night. The immediately, I went out there to piss. I'm like, I don't have anything to wear. Yeah, I don't like. I just wear like. I dress like a JV like basketball coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I wear the most comfortable shit I can every fucking like every, day. Yeah. Like you said, like some people will buy me nice, nice stuff on like my birthday and Christmas that sometimes I forget about. Then I'll like, like that's the only nice shit I have. Right. Like even these shoes, like my mom got me these shoes for Christmas. Like, I, I don't buy myself any, anything. Man, the last time I was at the mall was like we went to Vegas like a, over so over a year ago at this point. I mean, that was the last time I was there, and like I like I hate it. I used to like it. I used to like you like buying clothes and shit like that. I just like in a I weird still, I time. Still, I still yeah. like buying clothes sometimes, but it I don't have time for it. I catch on to like know. styles like two years after like they're already over. Yeah, like, I went to Express Joe and I went to pay a bill, and I'm like, should I just buy these short shorts? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> right. every color. Well, that's like I bought ripped jeans. Crazy, every, stupid love. Everyone made fun. Yeah. Everyone made fun of me. Like, dude, this was when I style like three years ago. And I wore them every day for like yeah, six right. And you think they're fresh? They're like these are nice, and they're like yeah. I you find know, I'm a dweeb. I've been yeah. back on the. I've been put on the joggers for a couple of years now, but it took me a long time to get onto the joggers. And I was anti joggers at first. Correct. Yeah, of course. Now, what I was like, what was I thinking? Now, like, yeah, right. Now amazing. I love them. Yeah, I put an old pair of like fucking my like old pair of like Nike sweats on the wide layers. Yeah, now it's like going. The kids are going back to big big jeans and big pants. I should have saved those shiny jeans I had. Those Nietzsche's. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that they're going that direction, but like that size they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the kids vintage. are definitely into short shorts these days. Yeah, we all had those gray pair of Nietzsche's that weren't gray. They were like moon pants. Those yeah. were the best. Oh man, I had every <laughs> flavor of Timberland. Those were the best. You Those fit, were the days. You could fit a forty in the pocket. I didn't have Timberland money, but I sure had Colorado money. I had Paul. <laughs> I had I had Paul as my fucking uh, roommate. So uh, he, you know, I had the uh, Mo yeah. Gear hookup yeah. dog. You guys like have sim- yeah similar shoe size. Yogi keeps all his shit so pristine. Yeah. I've never seen so much denim. Like, dude, he had so many pairs of jeans. And like, this is crazy. I'm sure he still it, does. He, he, he definitely yeah. does. Remember, butters used to be the shit. He was fucking me one day. He was like, man, him look like margarine. <laughs> like damn Paul Yogi making a funny huh yeah. <laughs> Write it down <laughs> Yeah clothes shopping like It sucks man Le- I mean, Like Lululemon mm. like that, yeah that's a spot But I'm not spending that money <clears throat> But even that it's athletic leisure Right you know what I mean but it's nice It is like and I, that's probably what I'll wear On Saturday night <laughs> you know what I mean Like I don't Or some golf pants <laughs> Yeah literally it's, go- it's golf pants I wear my golf pants My out. golf gear is okay I've worn my golf go- pants yeah. As dress pants my Plenty golf, of times I, dude, my, That's my, my best That's my best Yeah if I, Yeah if I, that's I, where I totally I'm, agree Yeah that's where I'm at That's right where now. I spend the most that's money That's where my nicest shit is yeah, at like, That's where yeah. I spend all Like the, if I'm going shopping It's to dicks I, I say like if, I need, if I'm in the need Of a quick outfit To go out Express is like it's like perfect for guys my height. Like it's a one store. It's like tailored for shorter. Yeah, dudes. Express, Express is good. Everything fits pretty good. Yeah, I'm not an Express guy. They they, they, yeah. they have thirty three thirties, which is like my size. It's a weird pant size. That's a hard. If to I'm find going, size if I'm going there. like shopping, like shopping, like not like for athletic leisure, uh Banana Republic's my go-to. Is it? Yeah. I, I used to go like all right, Lacoste. If I get a nice Lacoste shirt, yeah, that works. they don't have one around here, do they? No, they're also fucking eighty dollars for a T-shirt. I know, but if you're like going out and you're no, finally going to spend it. some yeah. money, I know, I know, I know, bud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think we are at that age. Yeah, just can't start rocking the new the the, the Nike Monarchs. Yeah, you gotta keep. If I could keep, yeah, if you keep the, your shoe game okay, yeah, you'll hang in there. Because you get away with a black T-shirt anywhere, right? That's fun. Uh, surely, what do you got? All right, so I I know I have bitched about the weather before. You have so. Mm-hmm. Obviously today was a shitbag day of weather. My birthday, I'm like, I'm I'm feeling good when I wake up, and I have all my nieces and my sisters that live in Texas calling me, all telling me that it's like 80 degrees and sunny and beautiful. They're about to, oh, we just opened the pool last week. We're about to jump in, and I'm I'm sitting there like fucking in the rain. Like there's a chance of snow. Like I'm looking <laughs> at the, the radar got like blue spots on it. I'm like, man, this is fucking. Relentless. If it would have snowed today, that would have put me in a dark place. There was place. a little bit. Of, there was a little bit of uh, frozen. Frozen. Yeah. It was like a, sl- a wintry yeah. mix at four forty-five, and it just rips the palace. soul out of you, dude. Like this is May, man. I'm supposed it to is. fucking have something decent. To We've been very to. fortunate this year, this winter, though. I, no, honestly, I I would rather if it's gonna be as cold as it was, snow. 
You know what I mean? Like, because it was days yeah, it was wet shit. super cold, and then there was days it was sixty degrees. You know, and it's just fuck, man. Make your mind working up, in I the mud it. like I'm Bane from Batman or something. Yeah, yeah. It, working in the mud is the worst. Your the feet worst. weigh four hundred thirty-six uh, pounds. You're gonna throw your hip out. Destroying one foot my car. Is this much mud? One is this much? And, I got uh, stuck at the dump in the fucking mud the other day. You stuck know. in the mud. Yeah, this is. Uh, we need about. I think it's supposed to get nice though. Tomorrow, Thursday. Yeah, next week's. Next gonna week be is going to be seventies, like steady. It looks like a, a steady week of seventies. Yeah, I just hate the ru- them rubbing it in on me. You know what I mean, yeah, Jack? Yeah, yeah, birthday. Yeah. I get it. You yeah. live in a Texas fantastic is, live in a climate. climate. Yeah. Grand. Yep. I couldn't survive down at work construction. It's fucking one hundred and ten degrees. No, no, sir. Yeah, Texas really don't. They don't got to deal with too much. They don't get the tornadoes or anything like that, do they? No, no, no they do. So Texas is the only state that gets all of the natural disasters. Do they? Yeah, right, earthquakes. Because it's, wrong su- about that. it's <laughs> such a big. Because it's such a big state that encompasses uh, so much. I guess much, that makes you know sense. You. Know? Yeah. Z-Bird, what do you got? So I thought I told this on here, but I guess I didn't. So it was like a couple weeks ago. I was with John. We're sitting at the monument eating lunch, and a dude comes over, offers us these candied scorpions. I, I swore I thought I told this one, but Jack's like, no, you didn't. So I'm like, all right, I have to tell this story. So offers candy, candied scorpions, and we're like, nah, John's like, I don't want them. And they, like, makes the sign, like, it makes your dick hard. And we're like, okay. And he, what I, Do you know what they were dipped in? It was like a chili candy. He told me he was a lemon pepper? Yeah. I think it was like lemon pepper. So was it like a lollipop? I like lemon pepper. So just scorpions with lemon pepper? Seasoned. Was it like yeah. a lollipop or was it like- it's like dry rub wings. Yeah. It was like- uh, Ross. But it, yeah. looked, but it was like coated in something. So I'm like, no, I don't want a scorpion. And he's eating a lot of them. And then it, like the dude, one other guy is like kind of like telling us that it gives you a boner. We're like, wait, it gives you a boner? And he was like, hee, hee, hee. And like holds his arm up like that, like the international sign for boner. So I'm like, all right, great, yeah, whatever you gotta do. We just take Viagra over here, but you know, if you need to eat scorpions to get your dick hard, do what you gotta do. But then I'm like looking at this. I grab my phone. So I was like, yeah, we're about to go back to work. I'm like, yeah, about to go back to work for another four hours. Why the fuck is this psycho eating boner scorpions? And we're about to go back to work together. I'm gonna be locked in a truck with this maniac. Who's going to be bonered up? That's why he wanted you get bonered up too. Well, that's what, where's the end game? So like, here's hey, the, right here. I know. Well, yeah, like yes. Felatio. He, wanted to hit me with Felatio. Yeah. <laughs> he wanted to smash his te- co-worker jerk off sesh. Yeah, he wanted to smash his tentacle into me. I mean, like, there's I could have dropped him off at a certain place of Shenley Park. He'd have been fine, but like we weren't going up that direction. So I'm like, dude, what do you like? What were you thinking? Like, why would I want to get bonered? Pulls up my our Facebook and goes. Friend, friend. I'm like, listen, dude, I like your pictures. You can like mine, but as far as us getting fucking boners together on the road and jerking, like, it ain't going to happen. Yeah, no God. scorpion boners and over he here. he just laughed and like didn't understand anything I said because he doesn't speak English. But I'm like <laughs> thinking, like, I really want to know what his end game was of, of all. Because he tried to get John to eat them, too. It's like, what did he want us all to have boners? Yeah, man. Started to work with a boner. Yeah. Was it like a... Was it like a Viagra bone or Maybe two? It's like it stuck a slow, around? Maybe them I, scorpions I are slow movie. release. Yeah. yeah, but could you see his dick at all? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I, I know I, he had like, like a loose-fitting, like, mesh-type pant. It might, like, John might be right. It might have been a time-release scorpion. Yeah. Uh, that's good way. <laughs> Timed it perfectly. Gets home the old lady. Yeah, bang, yeah. bang. All scorpion. Eat up. dinner, go to sleep. Yeah. Beautiful day. I mean, I just think four hours is a long draw to wait for a boner. So, like, I have a feeling, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure if my eyes didn't deceive me, that that erection started kicking around. 145. That's you know? too early for a fucking raging boner. No, and then we're like pulling yeah, weeds. Yeah, we're not fucking nine Yeah, anymore. it's just like we're pulling weeds and he's like dude, like raking behind me and his fucking cocks like right behind me. I'm like, come on, dude. You uh, thought you and your goddamn scorpion boner pills. You got to start calling him scorpion from now on. Yeah, you got to give him a sweet nickname. Yeah, something like scorpion boner. That's it right there. <laughs> I got a gear grinder. Uh, it's my wiener. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Need, you need some, some scorpions. Need some scorpions? <laughs> I might need some scorpions. No, that's not the, that's not a problem with the wiener. Uh, I was at aerobics the other day. Go to take a piss, take a normal piss, come out, start stretching immediately. As I stretch, I like bend down and touch my toes. Uh, a shot of piss. Fair amount of piss. It was more than a shot. <laughs> Comes out like I bend over, uncontrollable piss. All over the I, I had maroon Nike shorts on. I like there was probably like six inches of piss, 
like around my oh. like around my wiener, and now like I'm in a pickle. Do you shake too fast and get on out of there? I don't know. I but like it's like so like I like piss. You got a slow release wiener. I walked across. You like, hurry. I walked out kind of. That's probably. But like good. I didn't feel it at all. Like there, I thought the piss was gone, and then I just casually bend over, and it was just like. Phew. That's age. So, but I was like up, right buddy. in front of the fan. Yeah, I know. That's old prostate. Yeah, right I was right in front of the fan. <laughs> so I just start stretching. It was like a four fan because the big fans broke. That was another gig around her. But uh, so I just start stretching in front of the four fan. Just to try like, to piss. Like dick first, <laughs> and it dried the piss within a minute. And, like nobody noticed. I was like, whew, got yeah, out of that. Yeah, you're a sweaty guy. You could be like, ah, dick sweat. Dude, I, it, I got swamp dick. But it was before we did anything. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That's what I mean. It's not like it was halfway through yeah. the workout. Like, oh, pre- my God, I spilled my protein shake. It was pre-workout. <laughs> like, I was just, I was like, I got, it looks like I pissed my pants because I kind of did piss my pants a little bit. Well, hey, it happens, happens to, to the, the best, best of us. Yeah, yeah. Just sure it sure does. <laughs> yeah, once, twice, 84 times. Who's counting? Yeah, but it was, uh, yeah, it was a pickle. I got Have out you of- had that, like, recently? Like happened again? That happened last week. Uh, no, the old time release pee. No, no. Goes, since it happened again, I've been very cautious of like draining my dick before I'm done. Yeah, you know what? I right. tell you what, you gotta you gotta shake it and then you gotta wait. You gotta give wait it a, a yank. second. Right. Yeah, yeah, you gotta wait. That's gotta wait. that's the killer right there. You fucking give it a shake, and then you're done. You put it back in your pants. Boom! You just peed on yourself. Yep. That's yep. That, that's an old man problem. It is an old that's man. That's an problem. old man prostate problem. Yeah, as we were talking about clothes, I looked down. I wear this free hoodie I got like every week here. Uh yeah, we got. Maybe we should go. Maybe we should go clothes shopping, boys. Together, yeah. 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 I would say most yeah. of my clothes is Greenfield have Greenfield's Finest Green Podcast, Green Podcast yeah. right? or oh one of the sponsors. Mine, mine is Flats, Lumberjacks, Iconic, and like that. Like it was to the point where Laney's friend like made fun of me. Like, man, Jack, you love sporting a small business. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Yeah, so like, yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, maybe we should go shopping, boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should. We, we should to. plan a date. I'm, I'm going to go to Express before our big night out. There you go. Get get jazzed. You up. should probably wear like a not a suit, but like a blazer and like Ooh, some shoes. Zebra with a blazer. Like I don't think I don't think it's called for that. We'll I talk to. That's Will what's Friday. scary to step out of your box at this age and they get made fun of because you are everybody's an asshole Ruthless. you hang out with. Yeah. yeah, and the dude's wearing a track jacket. Like, man, I love track jackets, yeah. and I'm like, man, <laughs> I wear one every fucking day. And today I didn't, like an idiot. I'm wearing this blazer. You wear a collared shirt. Like, who are you trying to blow? Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, if you wear a nice shirt, they're like, oh, my God, you're definitely sucking dick tonight. Yeah, you're having some Bud Lights, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for them galians to come in, aren't you? <laughs> Gay alien Take porn. us to your leader. <laughs> I'm like, right there. Take, point- us, take us to your wiener. <laughs> yeah. Point Bud Light's in big trouble, dude. We sold one Bud Light on Saturday 25%. Night. That's crazy, crazy amount. I haven't ordered Bud Light in a, Dude, did you see like that they hired- now. They hired like a, a conservative consultant to, to bring that back. Well, have you seen like the commercials they're trying to run now? Dude, come on. They're like it's they're like pandering to like America. It's like it's like a two like it's like a family at a country show, like drinking Bud Lights, like going to see Toby Keith or some shit. Yeah, and it's Dre, like, bro. we drove our NASCAR yeah. here and then jumped dude, in our like, monster dude, we just truck. Put the American flag around the can again yeah. and get it back yeah. out there, dude. dude they would just listen to this podcast. Put it on big sale. Yeah, yeah. Like, get everybody back in. Americans are cheap. Yeah. If they right, can save we, it five bucks, they're going to buy your listen, case. Listen, we, we are very well principled. Right. But I'm a, I'm a sucker for a deal. Sucker for a deal. <laughs> <laughs> you knock it down $7 off a case, they make it, you're going to sell Dude, you're losing 25%. You'll see fucking fat, BLs, a, yeah, right, Buddy right. Lembex right here. Yeah, yeah they're drowning, man. They're Put like an extra two cans in the 30 pack. Right, 30 deuce. 30 deuce? Better than 30. All right, let's take a break. All right, baby, we'll take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with more Greenfoot Science Podcast. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Ebert from Greenfield Finance Podcast. If you're worried about roofing, windows, siding, soffit, fascia, gutters, spouts, and need help with any of those, call Allen Construction, LLC, 412-954-8337. Whether it's a repair or replacement, they're equipped with the tools and the skills for over 65 years of experience. And remember, Allen Construction, 412-954-8337. And they're not on heroin. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick of your general contractor having sex with your wife? Well, I was too, and that's when I found out about Schaefer Inc. Schaefer Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. 
They aim to firstly be a company principle driven and to achieve this, the importance is ethical business practices. That includes great work and not having sex with your wife. Please check out Schaefer Inc. for all your contracting needs. Give them a call at 412-915-1694. That's 412-915-1694. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I just drove by your house and your wall looks like a giant piece of shit. Well, you know that's no good because anybody can climb up your yard and bang your old lady. That's why you need to call Just Walls, 412-889-4401. Fully insured, and when someone pulls up to your house, make sure the first thing they see is your retaining wall, or the second thing they'll see is your wife's pussy. That's 412-889-4401. Just walls. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I just drove by your house. You got a giant hole in the shot. What's that for? So you can stick your dick in it, your old lady can shuck it. You're better than that, man. Get that hole patched up. Why don't you call SNL Remodeling LLC? They do roofing, siding, gutters, dime slots, soffit, fascia, and they'll fix that hole so your wife puts shock in everyone's dick. 412-628-9717. And tell them Z-Bird saying you. We're sick of seeing your wife shucking all that cock. Are you sick and tired of bullshit pizza? I knew I was. Thank God there's Capizzuto's Pizza on Greenfield Avenue. They've been in business for over 400 years, making some of Pittsburgh's finest pizza. 412-521-6570. Ask for nubs and tell them Z-Bird sent you if you want the best pizza in the bird. Man, we've been getting some bad storms around here lately. Very bad. Tree actually fell through my roof. I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. Luckily, I find Greater Pittsburgh Tree Service at 412-415-7331. They have over 27 years of experience, competitive pricing, and it won't break your budget. Give them a call today for all your tree-related needs. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. We're about to jump into what would Greenfield do? What would Greenfield do? Whoop, whoop. Would you rather go on a nearby business trip alone or travel far away? with all of your co-workers so you could go somewhere by yourself relatively close let's say like erie or something like that or you could go to like cabo but it's with all your co-workers erie <laughs> yeah that's well not me i are we co-workers no no, <laughs> no like, I was I went away with like my, like my cousin and dad and z-bird into cancun but like we gotta bring the whole company that's what i mean do i, I gotta guess bring i can the, escape i gotta bring the staff but like them dudes would do their own thing, right? Yeah, I could still well, enjoy myself. Yeah, if we all had to like have like a conference together and hang out, that'd be like now. If you had to do team building exercises yeah, all the time, no, that I would don't be. Know. I, no, I don't understand. If I, everything I, was like incorporated with everybody, yeah. that would be a fucking dick. I think, sucking it, and fest. I think it would be. Yeah, like, that would be it, terrible. That would be That's the kind point. of what they. Yeah, yeah kind of like. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go to Erie by myself. Jerk off. Jerk off. Jerk off. Bottle of whiskey. Yeah, jerk off in the Econo Lodge. That's it. And then I'll be home in fucking an hour minute and some ten minutes. Get rent a jet ski. <laughs> old Lake Erie's pretty choppy, guys. Yeah, I, I, I brought a jet ski in Old Lake Erie. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the Beezer. I went out with a bunch of Rooskies, dude. It was me. And like, oh, he parties up there, huh? Dude, Not they, his, his, uh, his father. Yeah, they used to. They used to have like a boat and shit up Press there. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, Prescott. Prescott was dope. That's where I went. And it, there's no governor on the jet ski, so you can get up to set. Uh, dude. Open that bitch wide up. And, oh. Dude, I mean, Lake WFO, Erie's. WFO, motherfucker, wide fucking open. <laughs> 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 Thought you knew. Yeah, it's a good time. Let's go to Lake Erie. Yeah, I mean, if we had to bring the whole company, I, you know, that's just too many people. Too many things could go wrong. There's just too much interaction with people that, you see all the time. You already. don't want to. You, there's just like some things like can't be I yourself. imagine like for Rosado, like is like he's like the boss. Like, you don't want some people see that side of you, like where you're hammering some beers, <laughs> having no, a good time. That's good. It. <laughs> yeah, that's why there's no more company parties. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Christmas party. Here's a hundred bucks. The Rosado and Sons Christmas party. There used to be one at Pickles up. when I was like younger, but I, but like before, like I could really even like got it in. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, would you rather be able to speak all human languages or be able to speak to animals? So you could speak every language on Earth that humans could speak, or you'd be able to just talk to dogs or uh, human. animals. Any humans. animal. Humans. Yeah, I'd want to know every language, dude. That'd, That'd be, be much more killer. valuable. But dude, I'm thinking. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but well, I'm think of this though: if you can like convince like 
You know what I mean? Like you start talking to like some birds and shit like that. Like you can have them do tasks for you. That's true. Oh, so you're like fucking. Uh, I'm thinking like outside the yeah, Doctor Doolittle yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, idiots! Everybody come around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I put all his feet out. You're like, caw, caw, caw. Yeah. I'll, have, I'll have deer <laughs> running down the street to get me chew. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll, my dog don't shit on the floor anymore. Right. Yeah, but hey, cuz. Yeah, I would love to talk to Paisley. Yeah, like, dude, like, what were you thinking when you did that? Why yeah. wouldn't you just come get me? We're cool, man. Yeah. I, I do all this shit for you. And they, all you do is fuck me. Yeah, I'm sick of it. So, so if I could talk to all the all the animals, can I still talk English? Talk English like you do now, but like no, you can't learn French. No, by yeah, no, no Spanish. I, yeah, no I would talk to the animals as long as I could still talk English. And I, you'd be able to like. You made a good point, Michael. I yeah, yeah, that was a really good I idea. Can't lie. Then I always like I always think about like the influencer aspect too. Like if you're on TikTok and you're the guy that could talk to animals, you know. You're gonna have a few but million, a few million followers. Listen, here. all the elk say, "Listen to Greenfield's finest podcast." Yeah. I'm telling mm-hmm. you because they just told me that. <laughs> and then like people are like, "Oh, will you talk to my dog and like see what they think about me?" Oh, and that's like, now that's I, lucrative I, yeah, right there. Right, like 500. Like uh, your dog hates your guts. Like oh, I knew it. <laughs> yeah. I lie anyway. Yeah, 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 if right. you could have video, dogs, like I hate this bitch. Of like <laughs> of videos of like animals doing cocaine, like convince them to do it. <laughs> Billionaire. Bill, you know how viral that would go if you, like, you had a bunch of mice just like doing gaggers, dude. I mean, you probably <laughs> okay. if you trap some mice and put some coke in there, that They've mice done, are gonna do I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, they have studies. I, sure. Well, maybe a, a mice is a bad example, but like a coyote. Like if you see a coyote do a gagger, what about, what about Johnny Marbs? <laughs> what about like your chimpanzee? So you could actually hang oh, out. Oh yeah, I'd like to see elephant all coked up talking. Nah, no, that's gonna trip you. If you could see any animal coked up, what would you want to see? I would have to go with like a small monkey, not like a chimpanzee because they can rip your arms off. Yeah, like a capuchin guy. monkey. I would have yeah. coked up penguin. Oh, I love a coked up fuck, penguin. dude. That's actually Kevin funny. Stevens. <laughs> That's the podcast <laughs> Everyone thanks so much for tuning in this week Have a great week folks What a ricochet shot Kevin <laughs> <Savings is laughs> <thought>. <laughs> And remember folks Greenful loves you We're out